All right, it is the big day, everybody. I'm very excited. So let me first uh, switch the scenes over and we'll get this show on the road. All right. Whoop! Hello, we are here and we are going to go over everything that is going down today. I'm just putting on some... Oh my God, it's kind of loud. Okay, I'm just putting on a little bit of fitting music here to get us hyped up. Guys. If you have not already, somehow you've never seen it, check out the website MarioPartyLeague.com. Speaking of which, we're going to take a look at that right now because the first thing that I want to do today is look at what got us to this point because this is the second to final match in the entire season. There's only one more after this and that one decides everything, right? So let's get the uh, thing on screen here and we'll give it a, we'll give it a look, eh? Okay, all right. So first things first... First things first, you can say hi to yourself in the chat, as we like to do. I have to go down the down the 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 pit of despair. Look at that. We have to go into the infinite loop with the embedded chat on the webpage. Look at that. Incredible stuff. Alright. And uh, if you are watching this VOD on YouTube, you can, even if you don't have a Twitch account, you don't even have to go to Twitch. You can just go to MarioPartyLeague.com when the match is live, and you'll see this layout for yourself. In fact, you don't even need to see the chat because I have it on the screen anyway, so you can just watch it like this. But it's, you know, it's a cool way to get you guys uh, involved with the live stuff, even if you're not in the chat, just able to enjoy the match as it happens. So that's cool. Uh, the next thing that I want to talk about here is, of course, uh, a minor little update before we get into playoffs talk. Uh, a few things. I fixed a few bugs with the canvas and I added in a color and more importantly, we added in a new purple. More importantly, um, if I place a square here, you will see the cooldown has been reduced to two minutes instead of three minutes. So for the final week of the league, you get minus one minute on the cooldown, faster square placing, all right? Get in on the action. A new purple, some fixed bugs, and minus one minute. So now you can put squares even faster, everybody. It's incredible. And uh, taking a look at the state of the canvas, it's looking very nice. I was worried we weren't going to fill up the bottom, but we have everything coming in, including a little Shudmart advertisement um, and someone with a message to chat and they didn't finish it. So I don't know what this is, but um, Wario's like a devil now. I, I don't know, but we have a uh, rules land sighting. If you're a Mario Party veteran, around this channel. You might know about Rules Land lore, okay? Shout outs to the Rules Land lore. That's very cool. And uh, everything else here looking very nice. So I'm loving what we're seeing here. Uh, someone is even turning the Booba into Blooba and now into an Among Us. Really, the character development is insane. Um, <laughs> if you want to take part in this, by the way, exclamation point canvas in my Twitch chat, or you can go to the Moria Party League website and click on the canvas button right here at the top. You'll see it right there. Um, but that's just your minor canvas update. Another bug was if you were scrolled down on the page, like sometimes you wouldn't be able to drag and before you could like drag over here, even though you, this is like technically off the screen. I fixed all of that, hopefully. So now we, hopefully there's no more issues with that. Okay, anyways, let's move on here. The next order of business and arguably the reason we're all here the playoffs let's look at the playoff bracket here now tonight is an interesting match and i'm going to tell you why okay i'm going to tell you exactly why here is the problem here's here's the t right so if we look at the standings actually first of all you'll see that the bottom four people had to fight for their lives in the last chance qualifier now if you look at tonight's match You'll notice something interesting, okay? You'll see that Mario and Peach are both in it. And they, if you were paying attention on the standings, are also in the bottom five. Now, they both didn't qualify. In fact, in this match right here, Mario eliminated Peach, the, the tournament favorite based on previous tournament data from the event. She came in last place, eighth. But she has one more chance for revenge. And it is tonight because she is in the arena again with Mario. 
Will she get her revenge on the man with the red hat? Or will Mario prove that he deserves a spot in the grand finals? Working his way all the way through the LCQs and land a spot with Yoshi and Daisy on Creepy Caverns next week. Now, that's only part of the story though, because we have two other players here, DK and Wario. Now, Wario, kind of the unsung hero. I feel like this season, everyone was talking about Yoshi, because Yoshi this, Yoshi that, Yoshi with the wacky watch, Yoshi, 999 coins, but it was actually Wario by a demanding 800 points that won out over Yoshi for first place. So Wario, by far the crowd favorite. I feel like people have been sleeping on this guy, but he has been dominating all season long. I mean, he won two of his matches. He, he brought in crazy placement points. I mean, the only person bre to break 4K. And then of course, we can't forget DK. Now DK is a bit of a wild card, but today in particular, he is gonna be playing on hard, which means the hard dong is here. And someone once said DK is at his best when he is playing on hard. So we have a real battle shaping up here. We've got the hard dong coming in against Wario, by far the number one player in the regular season. And of course, we can't forget about the Mario and Peach drama. There's a lot on the line here today. Now, I talked about this last week, but in case you don't remember or you missed it, there is one unique thing about the match and last week's match that we are doing that we have never done in any other match in the season, and we won't even be doing it next week. For probably one of the only times ever, we are going to have a mismatch in difficulty. Now, Peach is eliminated, and because she is eliminated, we're gonna let her really wreak havoc tonight. She is gonna be playing on the super hard difficulty. Meanwhile, the three players that are in the running for Grands will only be on hard. We did this last week, and it was crazy. Luigi absolutely causing a ruckus, but even still, the match was closer than you might think. Will we see similarly tonight, or will it be a blowout? Will Peach destroy all of them? We're gonna find out. And as a reminder to everyone, even if Peach wins, we have this in the format breakdown, only valid players can move forward, which means that uh, she won't be moving on regardless. She'll just be making everyone else's life um, difficult. A living hell. It's gonna be crazy. All right, it's gonna be a crazy one. Peach is on super hard. Um, but for the first time ever, we have all of our players here and we're gonna be doing a little pregame interview with them. All right, and I think it's only fitting that we start with the lowest ranking player, the eliminated player of Princess Peach. We're gonna be starting with her tonight, okay? Now, give me a second. I need to make sure that she's ready for her interview. Okay, that is important. We, we want to, you know, we don't want to talk to someone when they're not ready, of course. Uh, but we're just, you know, it's going to be a short interview. I just want to get uh, each player's thoughts on the match tonight, things we should look out for, things like that. Now, let's see. Is Peach ready? It appears she is. You can see her on screen here. So let's... Let's ask her some questions tonight. Let's see how she's feeling. Welcome to the booth, Princess Peach. You are the eliminated player, the lone eliminated player, and the bottom placing player in the entire league, coming in eighth out of eight. You have one final shot to cause a ruckus. Are you ready? Let's see what she has to say. Oh, absolutely. Oh, Hi she's, there. she's not moving. It's truly a delight but that's okay. to be here. Even though my journey in the <laughs> tournament ended a bit earlier than I had hoped. But you know, a princess never backs down from an opportunity to add a little sparkle and mischief to the mix. Tonight, I plan to turn Woody Woods into my own personal playground. I may have placed mm. eight, but that just means I have nothing left to lose and everything to gain from stirring up some chaos. So, watch out, boys. 
Peach is here to play. Dude, that's crazy. All right, thanks for your input, Peach. Uh, I have another question for you here. Um, you are up against the player that eliminated you in the last chance qualifier, Mario. You were a crowd favorite and a tournament favorite, having won multiple of these Mario Party leagues that we've done in the past. Do you have any words for the person that took you out, Mario? And do you have any comments for all of the people that are doubting you coming in eighth place? Oh, Mario. My dear sweet Mario, I must say you certainly know how to keep things interesting. Eliminating me in the last chance qualifier was a bold move, and I can't say I wasn't a little heartbroken. But as they say, revenge is a dish best served fabulous. Tonight, <laughs> I'm here to remind True. you and everyone else that Princess Peach still has a few tricks up her dainty sleeves. To all my doubters out there, don't be so quick to count me out. Yes, I came in eighth place this time, but a true princess knows that it's not about where you start, but how you finish. And tonight, I plan to finish with a bang. So keep your eyes on me, because when Peach is in the game, anything can happen. Thank you so much. So uh, for the final question here, before we move on to our next participant, I just want to know, is there anything that we need to look out for on the match tonight? Do you have any tricks up your sleeve, any strategies that we should be keen on before the game begins? Oh, you bet there are some surprises in store. Woody Woods is a board full of twists and turns. True. And let's just say I'm very familiar with navigating tricky paths. First off, keep an eye on those event spaces. I'll be doing my best to manipulate the board to my advantage, switching paths and making sure my opponents end up exactly where I want them. And let's not forget about those sneaky item mini games. True, well you can't forget about those. Or a magic lamp can turn the tide in an instant. As for strategies, well, a princess never reveals all her secrets. But let's just say I have a keen eye for spotting opportunities to steal stars and coins. Mm. Wario, DK, and especially Mario better watch their backs. Oh. Because I'll be ready to pounce on any chance to turn the tables. So sit back, relax, and enjoy the show. Because tonight, it's going to be a Royal Rumble like no other. And to the semi-finalists, good luck. You're going to need it. After all, Peach is here to make sure this match is anything but predictable. Let the chaos begin. Dude, she put emojis on the end of that message. She didn't say them, but this were the this were the emojis that she said. That's crazy, dude. She's bringing out the emojis. Okay, all right. Slay Queen. That is going to be Princess Peach, everybody. Moving on to the next person we're going to be interviewing today. It is the underdog Mario. Let's bring him in. Don't pay attention to him staring into your soul. One second. Um, give me a second. We got to bring him in. Make sure he's ready. Okay. All right, all right, all right. Hello, Mr. Mario. Welcome to the booth. We're about to get into one of the most important matches of your career. If you win this, you qualify for the grand finals of the Mario Party 3 Spring 2024 CPU League. You are coming into this match as a heavy underdog, and many people are doubting you. What do you have to say to them, and how are you feeling about the match tonight? Let's see what he has for us. It's-a me, Mario. Woohoo! Thanks for having me in the booth. <laughs> you know, 
I've faced many challenges in my life, from a rescuing Princess Peach to a racing in carts, and now this Mario Party 3 tournament. Being the underdog, it's a nothing new for Mario. I thrive on proving people wrong and showing everyone the true power of teamwork and determination. Wow! Tonight's match on Woody Woods is gonna be a real test, but I'm a ready for it. I'll use every trick in the book, every mini game skill I've honed over the years, and every bit of strategy I can muster to come out on top. Nobody should account me out just because I'm in sixth place. A true hero always rises to the occasion. And that's what I plan to do tonight. To all the doubters out there, just you wait and see. I'm gonna give it my all and show you why Mario is the number one. Let's go. Okay, all right. Uh, this one's a little bit quieter because it's my voice. The other one, I look. I'm never gonna clone someone's like use someone's voice for the the AI voice thing without their permission. The only reason that I have that Peach one is because that's one of the default ones that was in uh, Eleven Labs already. This one is me though. <laughs> Uh, okay, all right. All right, so we actually spoke to Princess Peach before this, and she told us that you especially, out of all the people in the match, need to be on guard tonight. Maybe she's carrying a bit of a grudge, having, uh, being eliminated, or having been eliminated by you. Do you have a, any message to Peach, and are you worried about her on the field tonight? Oh, Princess Peach. I've known her for a long time, and I know she's a fierce competitor. If she's got a bit of a grudge, I can't blame her. Losing can be tough, especially when it's a me who sends you packing. Oh! But that's a just how the game goes Throw sometimes. a little smack talk, Peach, okay? If you're listening, I understand you might be looking to cause some chaos tonight. But remember, it's all in good fun. We're here to compete and have a great time. Just don't forget that Mario's always ready. He's always Whether ready. throwing banana peels or trying to steal my stars, I'll be on guard and ready to counter every move you make. So bring it on, Peach. Bring it's it going to be one wild ride in Woody Woods, and I'm a not backing down. Let's see who comes out on top. But remember, it's all about having fun and playing fair. May the best player win. Woohoo! <laughs> <laughs> Thank you very much for your time today, man. Uh, final question here before we let you go. Is there anything that we need to be keeping an eye on? Any strategies, any tricks up you, your sleeve that you plan on pulling out on the match tonight? Any secret uh, sort of thing that even your opponents are unaware of? Now, I understand if you don't want to give away too much here, but just maybe give the, the, the viewers a smidgen of what you have in store. Let's see what he has. I bet he's cooking something. Hehe. <laughs> You're trying to get some secrets out of me, huh? Well, I'll give you a little tease without a giving away too much. Okay. Tonight on Woody Woods, it's all about staying sharp and being unpredictable. Mm. The board itself can be a bit tricky with those pesky Monty moles Very true. changing the path. Gotta watch out for the moles. So you gotta stay on your toes and adapt quickly. I've been practicing my mini game skills nonstop, so you can expect some top notch performances there. Okay, mini games. And let's not forget the items. I've got a few strategies up my sleeve when it comes to using items at Ooh. just the right moment. Timing is everything, and I plan to use every mushroom, warp block, and boo bell to my advantage. But the real secret weapon? Teamwork with the board itself. Woody Woods has its own quirks, what? and I've been studying them closely. Knowing when to take risks and when to play it safe will be key. And hey, Teamwork I've got a few with tricks the board. that even Wario, DK, and Peach won't see coming. So to all the viewers out there, Keep your eyes peeled for some Mario magic tonight. And to my opponents, especially Peach, Wario, and DK, get ready for a match you won't forget. Let's go and make it a night to remember. What does that mean? See you on the board. Thanks, Mario, and good luck out there. Thank you so much. I appreciate it. With your support, I'm a feeling more ready than ever. Let's make this match legendary. Woohoo! See you in Woody Woods and may the best hero win. Here we go. Okay, all right. Thank you, Mario. Now we're getting into some of the heavy hitters, guys. We're bringing in DK, and DK, I feel like, is a bit of a loose cannon here. I don't know what to expect from DK here tonight because uh, he has been pretty silent so far as we have been going through... Uh, the league, but even despite that, I mean, if we take a look at his standings here, he only got one win, but 
He's consistently placed high. I mean, look at his placement points here. Just And he was only a few off second. I mean, Yoshi barely edged him out there for second. So he almost came in in the top two spot even. Um, but I feel like no one's really bothered to ask him. So I'm really curious to see what he has planned for us. Let's bring him into the booth and see what he's got in store. Hello, Mr. Dong. How are you feeling tonight? Are you feeling rejuvenated? Are you ready to qualify for the grand finals? Because it all comes down to this. You have performed consistently well all throughout the regular season. But at this point, none of that matters. All that matters is a good performance tonight. How are you feeling? Let's see what he's got for us. Asterisk, asterisk, <laughs> Donkey Kong beats his chest and lets out a mighty roar. DK, ooh, ooh, ah, ah, Donkey Kong feeling strong, ready to smash tonight. Finals, here I come. Woody Woods is my jungle, and I'm the king of this jungle. Tonight, it's all about big moves and bigger bananas. Yes! Ooh, ooh, consistency is good, but tonight, it's about domination. Gonna throw some Dominating. barrels and swing to the top. Ooh, ah, Wario's got his schemes, Mario's got his jumps, and Peach, well, Peach is just here to stir the pot, but none True. of them can match the power of Donkey Kong. Ooh, ah, ah, ready to grab the stars, win the mini games, and show everyone why I'm the best. Ooh, ooh, finals, here I come. Bring it on. His tie is backwards because I had to flip him. We'll, we'll ask him about it. All right, man, you seem very, very confident, and you actually have a lot of fans here ooh. in the audience. You are going to be playing on hard difficulty tonight, and everyone keeps chanting, hard dong. Do you have a comment on this? Also, it appears your tie is actually backwards. Are you feeling nervous? Is that why you put it on in reverse? Or like, uh, wh what's going on with that? Can you comment on that? Asterisk, asterisk, Donkey Kong grins and beats his chest again. Louder <laughs> this time. DK, ooh, ooh, ah, ah, fans chanting hard dong. Love the energy. Hard <laughs> difficulty is where I thrive. Yes! The tougher the challenge, the stronger I get. He's Ooh, feeling good. Ah. As for my tie, it's a statement. Who needs to worry about a tie when you're focused on winning? True. It's all about the game, not the fashion. Ooh, ooh, nervous, not a chance. This is just how Donkey Kong rolls wild and unpredictable. Ah, ah, tonight I'm bringing the power, the skill, and the bananas. Woody Woods won't the know The bananas? Ooh, ah. Fans, keep chanting, keep cheering. With your support, there's no way I'm losing. Oh, he needs that Finals. energy. Here I come. Give him your energy. Ooh, ooh. Yes. And to my opponents, you better watch out. Donkey Kong's coming in hard and strong. Ah, ah, let's do this. Thank you so much, man. Uh, we're going to go ahead and let you get ready for the match tonight. But before we let you go, one final question. Do you have any tricks up your sleeve? Any strategies you plan on pulling out that you've been holding on to all season? What can we expect from you out there on the field tonight? Don't worry about his voice. This is what happens when he gets excited, guys. Asterisk, asterisk, Donkey Kong cracks his knuckles and gives a sly grin. DK, ooh, ooh, ah, ah, tricks and strategies. You bet I've got a few up my furry sleeves. Been saving some big moves just for tonight. Expect some serious banana power and barrel rolling action. Ooh! Oh, ah. I see. First, I'll be all over those item shops. Gonna grab the best items and keep my opponents guessing. Warp blocks, plunder chests, you Warp name blocks, it, I'll use plunder. it. Warp blocks, plunder. Ooh, ooh. Second, okay, watch he's out an item user. mini game mastery. Oh, I've been another mini game hard, player. And I'm ready to dominate every challenge thrown my way. Ah, ah. And finally, I'm gonna use my jungle instincts to navigate Woody Woods like no one else. Those trick pathways and event spaces, I'll use them to my advantage. Ooh, ooh. So pay attention, folks. It's going to be a wild ride. And to my opponents, Wario, Mario, and Peach, you better bring your A game because Donkey Kong is ready to swing to victory. Ooh, ooh ah, ah. Let's make this a match to remember. Finals, here I come. Ooh, ooh. Okay, he seems very confident. Thank you very much, DK. We have one final person to interview, though, and this guy 
is arguably the most important. The number one seed in the entire league. It's Wario, everybody. Bring him in. There he is. There's the man himself. Uh, one second. Let me make sure he's mic'd up. Make sure we've got him mic'd up here. Uh, one second, Wario. We're just we're getting you mic'd up, dude. Give me a minute here. Okay. All right, he should be mic'd up here. Hello, Wario. I know you have been waiting weeks for tonight. You are the number one seed in the entire league and also in this semi-final match. If you win this, you are guaranteed a spot in grand finals. And after a dominating regular season performance, getting over 800 points more than even the second place player, there are a lot of eyes on you tonight. And also a lot of DK fans that are doubting your abilities. Do you have any words for them and how are you feeling? Let's see what he has to say. Wahahaha. Well, ha, ha. Of course, everyone's got their eyes on Wario. It's only natural when you're as great as me. Those DK fans must be bananas to doubt my abilities. I mean, come on, who's the one with over 800 points more than the rest? Exactly! Right. It's a me, Wario. <laughs> as for how I'm feeling, I'm feeling unstoppable. I've been crushing the competition all season long. Okay. And tonight won't be any different. DK can try all he wants, but he's just a big, dumb ape. He doesn't stand Whoa. a chance against my cunning and my, how do you say, tactical genius. Wah -ha -ha. He's being toxic! And let's not forget about Mario. That goody two-shoes plumber thinks he can outsmart me. Fat chance. Wait, he's throwing he's shade right now. Mad tonight, shade. I'm going to make sure he stays there. Maybe he should stick to unclogging toilets, eh? <laughs> Wah -ha -ha. Oh, and Peach, what a joke. She's not even in the playoffs anymore, just here to mess things up for everyone else. But let's be real. She's only here because she's got nothing better to do. True! Maybe she should stick to getting kidnapped because she'll be a non-factor tonight. <laughs> what? Ha -ha -ha. So, That's crazy. To all the doubters and haters out there, it's crazy to keep say. watching because Wario's going to put on a show. And if you're rooting for DK, Mario, or Peach, well, better luck next time. Wahaha. -ha. Those are some strong words, man. You seem very confident tonight. If things start to go wrong, how is the mental feeling? Do you have a plan in place to turn things around in the second half if the game isn't going your way? And also, uh, let's see here. Yeah, it says that you have won exactly half of the matches you've played in. And if you win this, you'll be the only player to win over half of the matches that you've participated in. Are you looking to create history tonight? And how are you feeling about that? I was looking at the stats. We'll ask him one more question and then we'll be good. Of course I'm confident. When you're as great as Wario, you've got every reason to be. True. But let's get one thing straight. Things going wrong? That's not even in my vocabulary. Whoa! But if he's by confident. Some weird twist of fate, things do start to look a bit hairy. I've got plenty of tricks up my sleeve. You see, Wario's always got a plan. If the first half doesn't go my way, I'll just turn up the heat in the second half. Okay. Maybe I'll play a few dirty tricks. Oh. Throw some well-timed items or make some strategic alliances. Whatever it takes. Whatever it Wario's takes. That's what he said. Whatever it Wah takes. Ha ha. And let's be honest. My opponents are too busy stumbling over their own feet to even notice what I'm up to. True. As for making history, oh yeah, I'm all about that. He's about it. Winning over half of the matches I've participated in, that's just the cherry on top of my victory Sunday. It's not just about winning tonight. It's about solidifying my legacy as the greatest Mario Party player of all time. What? And let's face it, who else but Wario could pull that off? Mario, Donkey Kong, Peach, please. They're just stepping stones on my path to glory. So to all the fans out there, buckle up. <laughs> History is about to be made, and you're going to witness Wario in all his glory. And to my opponents, better luck next time. Wahaha. All right, man. So I've got two final questions for you, and then we'll let you go and get ready for the match tonight. First question, do you have any tricks up your sleeve or strategies that we should be keeping an eye on as we watch the match unfold tonight? We've heard some crazy things from your opponents and you know, I don't wanna give away their strategies, 
but they're cooking some dubious things up. And so you better have something of your own. Otherwise, you might get caught off guard, man. And secondly, you mentioned making history. Uh, if we look at the history of all the Mario Party leagues, Princess Peach, the person in this match that is here to ruin everything, actually has the record for most lifetime wins. And so if you're looking to make history, you're going up against a Titan here. Do you have any words for Peach specifically? All right, let's see what he's got. Wahaha. You want to know about my tricks and strategies, huh? Well, I can't give away too much, but let's just say Wario's always got a few aces up his sleeve. Okay. Woody Woods is a tricky board with all those paths and junctions, and I've got a knack for navigating through the chaos. Mm. Keep an eye out for some sneaky item plays and sabotage. Maybe I'll use a warp block at just the right moment. Warp block? Or perhaps I'll Keep team an eye up on that. with someone temporarily to throw them off guard. Write that down. Whatever happens, you can bet it's going to be entertaining. Wahaha. As for those so-called crazy things my opponents are cooking up, let them try. They can throw whatever they want at me, but Wario's seen it all. He's seen it all. DK might try to use his brute strength. Mario will probably act all heroic and noble. And Peach, <laughs> well, she's just here to mess things up for everyone. Wait, none he's of kind them of have right. The cunning and ruthlessness that I do. Wahaha. He's got him kind of nailed now about down. Peach and her record for most lifetime wins. Sure, she's got the numbers, but let's face it. Her time in the spotlight is over. She's Peach living in the past washed? while Wario is the future. Whoa! Peach may have the record, but tonight, she's just another obstacle for me to bulldoze over. So, Peach, listen up. Your days of glory are done. You can try to ruin things tonight, but all you'll do is make my victory even sweeter. Your yesterday's news, and Wario is the headline of tomorrow. Wah ha ha! To everyone watching, get ready for the greatest show in Mario Party history. I'm going to crush these losers and take my rightful place at the top. What? And to my opponents, better brace yourselves. Wario's coming for you. Wahaha. <laughs> Thank you so much, man. Good luck out there tonight. And uh, finally, can I hear your battle cry? I just want to hear how hyped you are for the match. Just let it rip. <laughs> you want to hear Wario's battle cry? <laughs> All right, listen up, because this is the sound of victory. Wahahaha! <laughs> Wario time. Get ready, because tonight I'm taking no prisoners. <laughs> wow. Thanks, man. Good luck out there. We'll see you on the field. You heard it here first, everybody. The interviews have been done. Everyone has said their piece. And now we all know where they all stand going into the match tonight. We've got a banger lined up, so let's waste no time. Let's get into it. But before we do that, we have to, of course... Oh, apparently look at that. Before we do anything, it's time for the Pledge of Allegiance, everybody. Give me a minute. One second. Wait, I turned it off. Huh? What have I done? One nation under clock. Exactly. All right. I'll rise for the flag, thank you.
Play ball! It's game time, everybody. Big moment, big moment. I'm ready. Play balls. Yeah, exactly. Uh, okay, I need to do one thing. I'm gonna be switching the scenes in a minute. We're gonna get things going. Uh, I'm having an audio bug. I think you guys can hear the audio. I need to make sure I can hear it, so give me a second. I need to do a little finagling. Um, and then we'll get started. Big match tonight. Nut. Nut. Okay, I think maybe we are... Okay, I've got audio. We're good. That was short. Alright, I'm gonna go to the tournament layout. And we can get this thing started here. Now, guys, in case you are new to these, the way that we tend to do ads during these, uh, these league nights, is they run every 30 minutes. However, um, I will pause the game when an ad runs, so even if you're not subbed, you will not get any type of, uh, missed content. You can use it as an opportunity to go to the bathroom, get a drink break, anything like that. The only thing I'll be doing during that time is maybe talking about the match so far, or just talking about random other stuff. But you will not miss any actual match gameplay. Now, as a reminder to everyone, this is a rare circumstance. We've only done this one other time in the league. It was last week. We are going to be having mismatched, mismatched difficulties. Peach will be on super hard. Everyone else will be on hard. Uh, we do have our first ad break that is going to be starting soon. Um, so what we are going to do is, uh, I'm gonna run the first ad in a minute here. And then I will open the prediction shortly after. The prediction will be open for 30 minutes. And then after the ad break is done, and I run to the bathroom, we will begin. Okay. Even if you don't have an ad, it's a good opportunity to run and get yourself a beverage or something. I mean, I'm gonna go to the bathroom myself, so. Anyways, let me open up the prediction. I'm gonna put their difficulties and their seed in the possible outcome, just so you can know what you're betting on. All right, prediction is going live now. I'm gonna run to the bathroom, everybody, and when I get back, we will begin. Also, there's a few resubs here that I need to address that I didn't address. I'll do that when I get back as well. Okay, back in a minute. I'm back. No decorative drill. I mean, I still have it. It's right here. There you go. Uh, okay, so first of all, thank you very much, Murkula, for the four. Hater Todd, thanks for the 41. Kindle F, thanks for the 39. 
Nephilim, thanks for the three months of tier one sub to Yuka 28 krts uh, Five to one, one and five, thanks for the 83 months of uh, E, but like the E that they do in math for adding that, that one. Uh, summation, uh, sigma, whatever. Pinkerfish, thank you for the 21. Grindle equals bold. When you're not wrong, Teeb, thanks for the 61 as well. Welcome back. Uh, guys, in other news, just some other little raised fire stream updates before the game starts. I have started working on the script for the letters to inputs in a game, and it's actually not very hard, really, because all I'm doing is mapping the letters to the buttons that they press on the keyboard and then mapping that in an emulator to have the controls be that button. It's not that hard, but I already started that. Uh, and I've gotten actually pretty far. I want to make it a little more robust. I don't know if it'll be ready next week, but maybe the week after we'll do that. I'm hoping to do Amazon stream next week though. And as far as real life stuff is concerned, a hurricane is looking to come to my place on Tuesday and give me seven inches of rain. That'll be good. Guys, don't listen to Danny. Danny is trolling you, okay? What's the hurricane's name? Beryl. Beryl D's nuts. Oh, wait, I didn't do that right. <laughs> I mean, it's close enough. Okay, guys, the ad is done, which means I think it's time we get started. Guys, you heard the player interviews. You saw the seed. You know how they all got here. And now it's time for action. Semi-final match number two. Going in in three, two, one. Let's get started. Reminder to everyone, predictions are open. You've got about 26 minutes left on those. And if you're watching this VOD and you want to catch the grand finals live, this will be, they will be happening on the 12th of July at 7.30 Central. Well, at least we'll probably have a pregame show, but the match will start at around eight. Feel free to join us over here on Twitch, twitch.tv slash raisefire. It's gonna be a banger. All right, so looking at the match here today, we have Wario, the number one seed, DK, the number three seed, Mario, the number six seed, coming up from the last chance qualifier, and Peach, the eliminated player making one final showing here to cause a ruckus. For tonight's match, everyone will be playing on hard with the exception of Peach, who will be playing on super hard. It is a 50 turn match, bonus stars enabled, all mini games enabled. And uh, let me just switch them over to computer and we'll be off to the races here. GLHF, it's game time. We are getting going. All right, so Woody Woods, let's talk about the board. The thing about Woody Woods that makes it interesting is that it has a gimmick involving the Monty moles. Every so many turns, the moles will turn a sign that indicates the direction a player has to go at a branching path. There are, I believe, three locations on the board where these moles exist, and you have to go the direction they point. Now, there are ways to change them without having to wait a set number of turns, but we'll get into that after the first minigame here. We've got a 1v3 Wario, the solo player here. Now, historically throughout the regular season, this has been very favored for the team of three, because if they split the directions, it is very difficult for one single boulder to cover all the paths. And nice dodging there by Peach, bringing home a victory for the team of three. Mini game number one, going the way of Peach, DK, and Mario. So that is gonna be Wario, the very confident number one seed actually going down by a 16 coin deficit here on turn number two. This money does mean if a star is nearby, players will have enough from the minigame win to be able to buy them. Uh, Mario is going to say no to the shop here. And here's our first instance of the moles. But wait a minute! A 
Knights at turn two, Hidden Block Star going to the number six seed. Mario's on the board. Very early today. Insane stuff out of Mario. Wins the minigame into an immediate Hidden Block Star. Can you believe it? But wait a minute. We have a turn two lamp also in play here. Princess Peach going for the immediate turn two lamp. And we are heating up generally in these matches. It takes a few turns. I call them development turns where the players build up economy. They move around the board, but we are getting straight into the action here. None of that. Immediate lamp, immediate hidden block star. Things are already flying. Our first item minigame of the night coming in is going to be Swinging with Sharks. And we'll see what items are available. This is one of the harder ones in terms of getting the item you want. It is possible. But historically, the players have not been great at timing it. We do have an early boo bell. And oh, he goes for it. It's just a little bit short there. And that's going to be DK getting Bubkiss there. Swimming with the Sharks. Reminder to everyone, the prediction is open, by the way. I believe we already have uh, nearly one million Shud coin in the pot. So make sure to get your Shud coin predictions in. All right, our first minigame, we have the duo of Peach and Mario on the left. Reminder, Peach is the one who got eliminated by Mario, and Peach actually getting hit there. Is that intentional? This could be personal. I don't know. Meanwhile, we have the two people that immediately qualified for the semis. Getting actually eliminated. That's a win for Mario and Peach. Uh, I don't know if we're going to have interviews during the ad breaks. Maybe. We'll see. I'll, con I'll consider. I'll consider bringing them in. Okay, Mario coming in. Now, when Toad is appearing, this is scary because you can get a rare item. We could see a watch, but no. Instead, it, in, instead it's full skeleton keys here being collected by Mario. Now, there is a skeleton key door that's very accessible there on the right-hand side, the lower right-hand side. So we might see that get used. But Peach goes straight to the bank. Now, there is no money that is being... Uh, <laughs> Deposited at this point in time, so it is no money going into her pocket, but it does mean she avoids a little five coin tax there. And here we go, DK making his way across the upper right hand side here. Uh, and as you can see, that arrow is another one of the mole locations. So he had no choice there, he was forced to go left. But it's now time for MPIQ, our next mini game. This one, uh, known for being a bit of a resident sleeper. Generally speaking, it runs probably one of the longest out of all the mini games. Maybe only, <laughs> maybe only the beat goes on taking longer. It is a first to three trivia game show. And the questions asked here are either very trivial or way too specific. No in between. Peach with the immediate buzz in. Doesn't even know what the question is, but nails it anyways. How many dice blocks appear when you use a golden mushroom? That is going to be three at least. Here, I'll turn it up a bit. We've got Princess Peach with the buzz in. And immediately shutting him down. Look at that. A 3-1 to 0-0 zero, zero scoreline. Peach dominating here. Well, look, you know, the questions are always the same. No one said you couldn't study the material in advance. And it looks like only Peach did her homework here. But Peach, now with that minigame victory, does have enough money to use the lamp. Are we going to see an early lamp here? Meanwhile, Mario throwing away one of the skeleton keys. Straight into the bin, not wasting any time here. And we are going to see a second one get used on the door. Uh, Mario now potentially looking to double back around and hit up the shop. Maybe get a lamp of his own here. Speaking of lamps, Peach bringing it out. And it is our first appearance of the Watermelon Genie. Showing up here tonight. 
I expect we're going to be seeing a lot of this guy. The competition looking very fierce so far. Already going to be two stars in play, and we are not even at turn five yet. There it is, everybody. And, uh, you know, it's still too early to call anything, but if we take a look at everyone's star and coin counts early on, Wario falling behind quite a bit here in the early turns. Not even 10 coins, no items, no stars. And Toad here again, we could see a rare item, but it's not gonna happen this time. And we have another lamp coming from the Toad item space. Princess Peach doubling up on the lamps here. That is crazy. Wario does pick himself up a mushroom, but a bit of a far cry from what we saw already from Peach getting her second lamp. But he is going to get a plunder chest. Could be a very good item for him if he does get lucky on the RNG. Uh, I suspect here Peach will likely be holding on to the lamp unless she somehow gets enough money from this minigame. So Wario with a 1 in 3 chance to steal the lamp from the plunder chest. And here we go. It is going to be uh, everyone's favorite minigame. It's all about memorization of the locations here. Yeah. Okay. Generally speaking, most people will tell you that taking a picture is screening, uh, is, is, is cheating. <laughs> you can't just screenshot, right? But you know what I call that? I call that using your resources to your advantage. Right now, the setup looking pretty good. Peach making quick work of it over there in the upper right. And it looks like, um... Everyone kind of going with a different layout at the moment. And we do have Wario coming back in for a last minute adjustment. DK also bringing back the curtain. And there it is, a few final switches. The only person very confident in their positioning is going to be Peach here. And right off the rip, Peach actually gets the Mario and Luigi hats backwards. But I think that's all she got wrong, and that's going to be enough to win. Meanwhile, Mario getting a score of two. Very concerning for the Mario fans out there. Two is not what you want to see. And if we take an early look at the predictions here, it looks like as of now, we have a tie in percentage. DK and Peach both getting 31% of the shred coin being uh, gambled here. Wario getting 22 and Mario getting only 15. Peach by far getting the most unique users though. People very confident in Peach. And here we go. Speaking of that, Peach using the lamp. Now this is an interesting play because she does not have the funds to buy a star here. Let's take a look. Interesting play here. She used the lamp. Reminder, she is on super hard here. She got a lamp, use it, does not have the money to buy a star. And that's essentially a wasted lamp. Now, I could see this being a strategic move, using the lamp in case of Wario's plunder chest for the steal. By using the lamp, that is denying Wario even the opportunity to steal it. But we do have a reverse room here, which would be an insane pickup for her. And will she get it? No, she's gonna get the poison shroom instead. Now, on the surface, that play did not look great, but I do think that I it was a reasonable it was a reasonable item usage. Because now look, Wario with his plunder chest only has the option to steal a golden mushroom, a normal mushroom, or a poison mushroom from her, and no lamp. And he got the normal mushroom, so... That is also gonna put her in boo range. So, not a bad play, all things considered. And here we go, this is what I was talking about, if you pay the moles here, they will flip the sign. You don't have to wait for them to do it on their own. They will do it for a small investment of five coins. The moles are out.
All right, we've got Issa Pisa coming in here. We have yet to see a perfect plate here in the season. We've seen a few that were one or two bites away, but I've yet to see the perfect plate. Is tonight going to be the night? Wario and Peach going on an absolute tear right now, but they have... Look at this. They, they did a bad job of kind of splitting up the pizza. Peach wasting a lot of time eating nothing. However, I think it might not matter. They do still seem to have quite an edge here. But DK and Mario making pretty quick work. It might be too little too late. And yeah, for sure, that is a win for Peach and Wario. But it was a little close. A little close for comfort, for sure. Closer than they wanted it to be. Definitely. And taking a look at the standings here, Wario is very <laughs> far behind here early on. Struggling big time. Only has one more coin than you start the game with and no stars to his name. Mario, the opposite here, doing very well. Look at this. Brings out a lamp from the toad shop. Boom. A second lamp being collected by him, I believe. Uh, already up to one star. But Peach visiting Boo. Who is she going to go for here? And that is going to be Mario. A smart move. A defensive... A defensive coin steal. Want to make sure that he does not even have a chance to use that lamp anytime soon. And is it going to pay off? Yes! He gets taken for everything he has. Peach! Sitting very comfortably in first place off of that steal. 43 coins. One star to her name. Wario using a mushroom. What are we going to see here? Are we going to see a double? Double tens? No, but still a very powerful roll. That's going to take him down the right-hand side of the board. And that is going to take us to Baby Bowser's joint. No item being purchased there this time around. But it is time for our first battle mini game of the night. And this is what Mario and Wario both need. In a moment where they both have basically no money. This is how they can turn things around. But oh, never mind. It's a donut. Nothing. And battle minigame canceled. See you later. Nephilim, thank you very much for the 25. Welcome back, man. Oh, but speaking of firsts, I believe this is our first Bowser spin of the night. What's it going to be? 10 coins for the big man. Minus 10. And everyone here kind of getting drained of their cash. The only person with enough money to even buy a star right now is Princess Peach. Speaking of Peach, she is going to be the solo player in our next minigame, Hide and Sneak. And uh, we have definitely seen this... Oh, wait. Stop! This one has gone either way. Sorry, I, I got confused on the minigame here. Yeah, I think we've seen uh, about half of the wins going to the solo and half of them going for the team of three. We'll see if these guys play smart tonight or if the nerves are going to get to them and if they will group up on the board here. And okay, interesting. So we did have a little group on the rock in the back there, but everyone survived. As long as we don't get a double elimination here, this could be a guaranteed win. And Mario goes down, got caught slacking. But it shouldn't matter here as long as these guys perfectly split. And here we go. And there it is. Well played. That's a win for the team of three. Princess Peach getting brought down. Uh, yeah, I will be streaming because I don't have... Um, I don't have anything planned. I don't have a life. So, you got that to look forward to. Alright, Mario, big roll here. And he goes for the coins. Probably a smart play here. That is going to get him that much closer to the first lamp usage. Poison Shroom coming out, and it's going to be used on DK. Interesting. So Peach feeling intimidated by DK's presence. I mean, you heard him in the interview. That guy was really feeling it. And while there was a lamp in the shop there, but she didn't go for it. She instead goes for the simple mushroom. Interesting choice of item there. But wait a minute. Speaking of mushroom, Wario 
Using one of his own, if he gets doubles here, no! He could have enough money to buy a star, but it's not gonna happen. He is gonna work his way towards center stage, though. He's checking out the joint. Do we have a Boo Bell? And uh, he did a little window shopping, decided, you know what, I don't want an item, and he's out of there. DK, with the low roll, gets a one. We're moving on to our next mini game. I'm not gonna lie, guys, after a crazy early game, things have kind of cooled off a bit, and we're starting to see some of those developmental turns that I was talking about early on. Generally speaking, the mini games are fairly calm, I would say, until everyone has a chance to get items, get money, and move around the board a bit. Then things will likely heat up. So if your favorite or the person that you predicted your points to win on is not winning yet, don't lose hope. They still have more than enough time. Speaking of predictions, guys, under 10 minutes to go on that. We have around 1 million shud coin in the pot. If you have not got your predictions in, make sure to do so. And on this minigame here, uh, Mario trying to make a statement for the solo players. Uh, but the solos have really struggled on this all throughout the season and playoffs. This has been very dominant for the team of three. Very difficult to win for the solo. They need a near perfect performance and Mario is not going to be delivering that here. That is a win for the team of three. Well played to the dong. Taking a look at the predictions, right now, Wario getting 20% of the vote. 27 going to DK. Mario getting only 18. And we have uh, Princess Peach, the eliminated super hard player, getting 35%. A lot of confidence being put into Peach here early on in the game. Reminder to everyone, while we watch these developmental turns, how did everyone get here? Peach got eliminated. She actually got last place in the league, and she is making one final appearance. Mario. He has clawed his way into this position from the last, the last chance qualifiers. Wario, the number one seed in the entire league, dominating, instantly qualified for this match, and was able to rest up for weeks. Meanwhile, DK, in a similar position. He's been a consistently high performer. He was only a few points off second place. He's third overall in the league, and he has done very reliably well all throughout every match he's been a part of. Moving on to our next minigame, it's gonna be Awful Tower. The Awful Tower is, of course, a four laner if you're familiar with Mario Maker versus Moat. It's all about getting to that final platform. When you see the arrow appear on one of these blocks at the top, that's how you know they are getting close. You can get extra money for yourself if you hit those coins, but you're gonna watch out for the Hammer Brother because he will knock you down. So far, everyone doing a good job of dodging the Hammer Bros, and Peach on the final jump does choke it, and she actually falls off Wario now with a chance, and I don't know who won that, that was way too close. But it's Peach by literal frames. Snagging a victory on that one. That's gonna be another win for the Peach Menace coming alive here. And interestingly enough, uh, we are seeing kind of an inverse of what you would expect. Peach is eliminated and she's in first. Mario was the number six seed is in second. DK, the player that is in third overall is in third and Wario, the favorite to win in last. But we have a long way to go tonight, guys, and I have a feeling that things are not going to stay like this as the match develops. Mario, unable to buy the star there, but does have a chance to get an item, and we do have a Boo Bell available on Dory Dip. Will he get it? He is not going to get it. He's going to instead just pick up a skeleton key, which is not a bad pickup, but I don't think that's really what he wanted. If you are Mario there... Uh, we'll see. Actually, maybe not a bad move. He can go down, but I don't know if he'll be able to loop back around to the star. He is kind of in a must-win situation in the minigame, though, if he wants to lamp and get a second star for himself. But Peach goes straight for the booba. 
Yeah, this is a must win for Mario because I sense if he doesn't get enough coins to buy the star next turn, he will lose them from Peach from the Boo Bell. Guys, three minute warning on the prediction. If you have not got your predictions in, do it now or don't do it at all. We have over 1 million in the pot now. A three minute warning. You've had a chance to see how the early game has developed. It's time to get your bets in. Which player will you ride or die with tonight? And look, if you're a Yoshi fan, if you're a Daisy fan, you're just chilling because they're already sitting in the grand final. So you can bet today and just kind of have fun with it. Might as well throw a few points on someone because why not, right? Anyways, we are now on to Aces High. Wario, the only player who has gotten hit so far. Everyone doing a great job of dodging. Wario actually kind of stabilizing after an early hit. 30 seconds still to go. Guys, you want to look for the flashing missile underneath the ship. Those are the homing missiles. That's what you need to watch out for. And as I said, DK does get hit, and so does Wario. Wow. Two immediate takes downs here, and we've got a 1v1. The rivalry of the night, Peach versus Mario. And Peach wants revenge. They trade blows there. 10 seconds to go. Whoever gets hit first will get second. What are we going to see here? Two, one. Is it going to be a tie? Or are we going to see a draw here? And we do. That's a draw. I believe it's our first draw of the night. Guys, 154 on the prediction. And we actually have an ad break starting in a minute and a half as well. So basically when we stop for the ad break here, that's when the prediction's gonna close. You have until then to make a split second final decision if you've been kind of contemplating so far. Mario, making moves. And we have another Toad sighting. We could have a rare item. What is it gonna be? The watch is in play. We have a Wacky Watch in playoffs, everybody. The Wacky Watch on the field here early on. We'll see how this shakes things up. This could be crazy. The early watch. But Peach says, you're not using that if I have anything to say about it. And there it is. The Rob coming out. 13 coins being taken from him. She says, not so fast. This is crazy, man. All right, we're gonna have an ad break starting in about 20 seconds. Last call to get your bets in, guys. I will pause after Wario does his roll here. All right, we're gonna pause this. It is gonna be time for our first ad break of the night, everybody. Um, if you get an ad, don't worry, you won't miss any content. Um, all right. See you in a minute. Go ahead and get out of here. I'll put the bangers on. What happens if you use a wacky watch during the last turn? Uh, it goes back to 46 of 50. So you can use it on turn 50-50 and extend the game with it. It's actually a crazy play. That's a wild one, man. That's a wild one. We have 1.3 million in the pot. A lot of money being invested onto Peach. Are we going to see Mario use this? I don't know, man. I don't know. It could be a crazy short match tonight. Now, generally speaking, if we want to metagame this, we want to talk strategy. The computers generally don't like to use it unless they are in first. Or, if they are losing, they'll use it on the final turn. So what I think we might see happen here is if Mario ever goes into first place, the watch will come out. However, we could see it exchange hands via a plunder chest or uh, an item box where you swap items with an opponent. That's another rare item. Um, I don't know if they account for bonus stars when they decide to use the watch or not. I'm actually unsure on that, but it's gonna—it's definitely gonna spice things up one way or another. 
Either way, we are likely not going to get a regularly linked match. It'll either be extended if somehow it can exchange hands and last through the end of the game, or it will be shortened if whoever can get their hands on it and be in first uses it. If we do have a short match, I will likely need to, uh... I'll likely go offline for the VOD watchers, but then probably come back. I might check out this, uh... This grocery store simulator. It's different from Supermarket Sim. It's a different game. I've never played it. I think this one just came out. We might do a post-match interview with the winner. Yeah, yeah that, I think I was thinking about doing that. But it's a crazy game so far, man. Uh, also, let me talk to the canvas really quick. For the canvas users out there, I did a few things that should make your life easier, okay? First thing I did, if you're a Canvas user... Oh, that's the wrong one. If you're a Canvas user, there was like a bug with it before where you could like accidentally drag if you weren't clicking on the thing. I fixed that, so now it works. Even if you scroll the page down. Also, I added in a new color, another purple. And uh, if I place a square, the cooldown is now only two minutes. So you have more time, or you have less time to wait, which means you can place more squares. Also, there's, I don't know what's going on here. There's like more calculus or something. I don't know what happened there. <laughs> so I'm gonna be honest. Now, this is what I'm expecting from Wario tonight. See, someone made him a demon. He's gonna go demon mode. But also, he's, his, he's like, his face is kind of messed up. So, I don't know what's going on with that. And he's next to the Minecraft Creeper. Um, but yeah, the canvas is looking pretty good. I think I have one more update for it. Um, and then I will be done with it until closing. This will be available likely a little bit after the Grand Finals. So you have one more week to get involved with it if you haven't already. Uh, there have been a lot of flags that have been appearing just all over the place. I mean, flags everywhere, dude. Which, you know, it's fine with me. Everyone loves flags. All right, we've got about 43 seconds on the ad, man. I'm a little nervous. I don't know how this one's gonna go. That is Jim Hero, but he's unfinished. Maybe you can help finish the gym, Hero, if you're looking for a project. There is no Fortnite, unfortunately. But there's still time. Okay, uh, ads are basically done. It's about 15 seconds left. And then we will get back into the action. Crazy match so far, man. Why do we have a drill? This is the decorative drill. The chat demanded this come back. Okay, that's why we have it here. Okay, ads are done everybody. Time to get back into the action. Thank you for waiting on the ads. Time to get back into it. Let's take a look here. Turn 10 of 50, in case you missed it, Mario's inventory is what you want to pay attention to right now. A wacky watch and a golden lamp, both in the inventory. It's craziness, dude. But is he going to use it next turn? We're going to find out because he just got it. He hasn't had a chance to use it yet. We've got another four player minigame on our hands and what is it going to be? It's, of course, going to be the classic. 
Now this one's all about mashing. You gotta mash and then time your button press for the dive. If you get too close, you will hit it and get stunned and DK getting sucked there. Peach with a bit of a breakaway. And this is looking like a Peach win. Yep, Peach is gonna be walking away from that one unscathed. Well played to Princess Peach. And that's 10 more coins into the princess's pocket. Look at that, 90 coins. A power gap. No one is even close to her in money at the moment. But the moment of truth, and we're gonna have this moment of truth every turn. Is Mario gonna use the watch? The answer is no, at least this turn. He is not feeling confident to use it yet. Another turn of watchless gameplay. But are we going to see anyone else go for the watch? That is another interesting question and something we're gonna need to keep an eye on as the board develops here. Oh, and here we go. It's baby Bowser. Hang out a couple of items, the reverse shroom and the Bowser suit. Very nice. Wario, what do you have for us? That's gonna be a six. That's gonna take him straight to Bowser, but he is gonna pay the moles. Interesting. For a bit of a mix up. Now they are lining themselves up pretty well for Peach. If she gets a couple of hits here, she'll take even more cash. Furry Peach could go on a rampage here, but not so fast. Not if there's no money to steal. What if he just loses it all right now? He can just lose it all straight up and not have to worry about it. DK. Meanwhile, living on a different planet. He's not even close to these guys. We're on his way up the left-hand side. And we are seeing everyone kind of struggling a little bit here to uh, get that star in the upper left portion. I don't know why. Ooh, and another 2v2 coming in. DK and Mario working together here on the upper portion. On the lower team, we have Wario and Peach. And actually, Edge going to Mario and DK, even though Peach is on a higher difficulty than both of them. As I say that though, she equalizes and moves into the lead off of a bit of a Mario blunder. 21 to 22, we are close. We are very close, but Mario struggling to drop it. And oh, by a score of 25 to 26, Peach and Wario walking away with a victory. And that is big for Peach, the first player in the match tonight to hit a triple digit coin count. But will Mario use the wacky watch? Hello, Laura Pringles. We got a crazy match happening so far. Uh oh, it's time for a battle mini game. What's it gonna be? Battle for coins. Oh, Bob Kiss, Goose Egg. Nothing for the second battle mini game. The Goomba here being a bit of a tease tonight. We have yet to see a battle mini game, but you know what we are gonna see? Princess Peach in the Bowser fursuit. But she rolls at one, she was just cosplaying. Nothing doing there and another chance at a battle mini game. Surely we won't get zero three times in a row, right? Oh! Three in a row, the goose egg. This is craziness, man. No battle mini games tonight, says Mr. Goomba. He's feeling a little tired. A bunch of firsts happening tonight for sure. Hand, line, and sinker. Now this is a bit of an auto win for the, the solo player because they have auto aim on this mini game for whatever reason. Like the difficulty doesn't even matter. Look at this. Watch this. They have a minute and look at his hand. Look at it. He's locked in. Oh, but Wario actually has some dodging going on, but he does get the grab and Peach. The lone soldier, the bastion of the team of three. Do a good job of wiggling around, surviving, but eventually even she could not avoid the hand.
DK, locked in. Mario, honestly, uh, he still can't use the, the lamp or the watch. Like, this guy is struggling big time here. I mean, look at how much money he has. He's got nothing. This guy is poor. And if she goes here and gets a lamp and uses it before him, there it is. The lamp is on the, the table. Then I think this game might go on just a bit longer because I don't think Mario is going to be ending it anytime soon. Now, we do have to watch out. There could be still uh, potential for a meltdown. Oh, and interesting. Wario not feeling confident in the lamp purchase. Wanted to instead go for the cellular shopper. Picking up a Nokia phone. And now uh, the predictions have closed, by the way. Looking at the final odds. Peach getting 66% of the vote. 13% uh, going to Mario, 13 to DK, and only 8% going to the number one seed in Wario. Not a lot of confidence in Wario, despite him consistently performing highly. Higher than everyone else throughout the entire season. You guys still have no faith in this guy. That's unbelievable. I mean, look at the jukes on this. Okay, never mind. But even still, look, he's been doing well. He's been doing well all throughout the season. And you guys are doubting him. He's a bit of a late game player. You know, I I, I don't know for sure. I do, I'd have to go back and review the tapes. But I feel like he has consistently been a second half player. And I feel like, also, a lot of time, people put a lot of stock in the early game. When ultimately, the early game, in most cases, looks nothing like the end result. Peach, bringing out the Mushroom Genie. Another appearance of him tonight. Shoutouts to the Canvas Goers, by the way. Someone actually did make this guy on the canvas and a magic lamp to go with it. So shoutouts to whoever did that. Cool to, seeing, uh, cool to see a little bit of Mushroom Genie representation over on the canvas. And oh, dude, that's super unlucky for Mario. The star is spawning right on his head. And he's going to watch out because now Peach is going to boo after getting the star. Still has enough for a steal. And look at this. She is going up three to zero to zero to zero. Peach with a three star gap here in the early game. And uh, off of this play, I really don't think Mario or anyone other than maybe Peach, if she somehow can get it, is going to be using that watch. Because, let me tell you, that is a very tough lead to crack. Especially if you look at the money of Mario and Wario. I mean, they've got, like, nothing. Oh, and Wario converts some of that money into a lamp, but it now means he has even less. But kind of a smart move here, because he, line, he lands on the Bowser space. He lines it up after spending all of his cash on the lamp in the first place. So he really doesn't have anything to lose here. And so if it's something like a coin potluck where everyone pays in, he only pays a little bit. Yeah, I mean, look at that one coin. I mean, it doesn't really do much for him. He has no stars, no coins, but he now has a lamp. DK might be our next player to get a star. Only 60, uh, well, 63 coins his name, only two spaces away. Looking pretty much guaranteed here for the hard dong. But first, it's time for Coconut Conk. Don't get conked. Peach with the immediate ground pound there in place. Wario, a nice little strafe there, a little AD strafe. Whoa, he's playing a dangerous game. Does avoid the coconut, but it was close. It was close. 13 seconds, 12. Look at how close these dodges are. Look at how, look at how controlled he is. But as I say that, a little commentator's curse. Mario, a well-placed coconut, gets the conk on to Wario.
Would I consider doing a top moment of the day or week? Maybe, but I never had moments in the first place, so nothing's really changed for me. Princess Peach visiting the shop again. Oh, and she could have actually sniped the star from DK. DK can still choke it if he rolls a one. But I think maybe he'll roll high enough that it won't matter. Let's see it. Oh, an insane choke from the dong. That's not what you want to see in playoffs, man. That is not what you want to see. The nerves are getting to him. He chokes it, the only number he couldn't get. And here we go, DK. The solo player looking to get revenge here. Mario doing a good job of dodging, but if he gets hit, gets hit, there's a chance. Peach falling all the way down. He needs to get hit on Wario soon before it's too late. Wario, nice sidestep there, and that's pretty much guaranteed. Yep, Mario sneaks up the right-hand side, and he's going to get a win for the team of three. And DK, look at those eyes. Not a single thought behind him. Well played, honestly, by Mario and Wario. They kind of split the difference there, going up either side. Made it very difficult for DK. Meanwhile, Mario, I thought... Oh! Actually, a crazy move! The player that I counted out actually gets the star. Because of the minigame win in the blue space, he now has enough to get the star, and he's gonna come in and snipe it, not only from DK, but also Peach as well. You know, we were originally laughing at him because the star spawned where he was standing, but he is the one who walks away with the star. And that's gonna be Mario moving up into second. Now, if you're unfamiliar with the playoff format, Princess Peach is unable to qualify for grand finals. She can win the game and that will count for the prediction. So if you're a Peach fan, you do still want to root for her here. But let's talk grand finals. The only three players that are eligible to qualify are Wario, Mario, and DK. And so if Peach wins, that means second and third will be moving on. So if the game were to end right now, DK and Mario, the number six seed, would qualify for grand finals. And that would be a true underdog story. Oh, Peach is gonna go to Boo here. Now this is a crazy play. So she's gonna steal from Mario, but then she has to go to Game Guy. And if she doubles on Game Guy, we could see a star steal again. But if, she, if it goes wrong, she loses everything. It's tough to say what happens here. It's really tough to say what happens. Here we go. Game Guy. This is a big one. All right, so we got a little blackjack here. The goal is to be higher up on the platforms than the game guy. If you land on the seven, you 10X your earnings. It's a tough roll for the shy guy, for the game guy. Here we go. A four, wow, matching roll for roll here. He has to go for it. If he busts, he busted, so she actually can do nothing and win. Is she gonna greed for the 10x though? Moment of truth. No, she plays it safe. Peach doubles her earnings. And that is gonna be a guaranteed star seal coming in. Peach gonna likely be going up four to zero to zero to zero, the score line here. Now reminder to everyone, Peach did get last in the league. Like, it wasn't even close. We did a seventh place match, and she even lost that. But she does have one more chance at revenge, and it's right here, and she is making the most of it so far. And the person that sent her into that eighth place position was Mario, the guy in second right now. So no wonder she keeps stealing from him, maybe getting a bit of revenge from the last chance qualifiers here. If you want a full explanation of the playoff format, you can go to MarioPartyLeague.com and click on the format tab at the top. It breaks down everything in detail. 
But yes, the top two viable players here will move into Grand Finals with the other two from last week and a winner-takes-all match. Speaking of winner-takes-all, we've got a battle minigame here. Ooh. This is looking dicey. I don't know who's winning this. Princess Peach taking her sweet time here to place the plant. And it's gonna be Wario walking away from a win. I did not expect that. Wario coming out in first. Peach coming in second. Let's take a look at the payouts here. 35, 16, 0, 0, the split. Wario fans feeling very happy after that. Wario finally showing some signs of life. Now we did talk about how he's more of a mid to late game player. And this might be the wake-up call that we were waiting on to see him spring into action. Peach goes for the first one. And wow, a perfect split there. If they keep that up, this is looking like a guaranteed win for the team of three. We already saw them win once tonight. Will we see it again? DK goes down, but again, a perfect split. All they have to do is do that one more time and they win. Let's see if they're coordinating. Peach is gonna go for the rock, not going the stump, interesting. And wow, I've never seen that minigame played perfectly like that. I think that might be the first time we've seen that all season, but they didn't do anything wrong there. Like, it was excellent. The execution, flawless. Here go the moles on the rotation. The next star is gonna be right around there. And even though it looks close to Mario, he is gonna have to go all the way around and hope that the moles are pulling in the right direction to get it. So it's not as close as it might seem. But you know who is gonna be getting a star this turn? Princess Peach off the steel. Crazy play using the reverse room into game guy. Steals coins on the way there, a star on the way back. Peach now up to four, and look at the gap. It's a power gap here. Four, zero, zero, zero. The split. Are we gonna see a lamp? No, the lamp was not in the shop, but she's gonna pick up the phone. Mario was talking a big game in the pregame interviews, but we have yet to see him take action until right now. This could be the beginnings of the Wario turnaround. He is gonna lamp. And with the lamp, you do, of course, go straight to the star, meaning you can avoid all of the Monty Mole lamps, or, or signs. You go straight there. And that's gonna be star number one for Wario. And because of Peach stealing all of the stars from everybody else, that actually means Wario would be moving on to grand finals in the number one seed from this match. Oh, and again, the star spawning right on Mario. But this is actually a good roll for, for Wario. He could maybe get the star. I think he's gonna roll low though. Oh, he's one short. We could have seen a two star turn, but instead it's battle time. It's a 20 coiner. Pretty decent amount to pay in. A big win for Mario, if he does get the win here, would be very beneficial to him. Her performance does not matter here. She's just trolling. She's here just to cause a ruckus, because I needed to fill the number four slot. That's also why she's on super hard and everyone else is on hard. And immediately Peach goes for the Koopa. Mario goes for the wrong option. What was he thinking here? And Mario's gonna get last off of that. Not what you wanna see if you're a Mario fan. The point of the Gamba, it's for fun, man. I mean, look, I even said in the Gamba that they were on, she was on super hard if you read the options. 
So it's not like I duped you. All of that information was available. Oh, DK picking up a star. Was a little bit short on the roll by Wario. All right, pipe cleaners are next minigame coming in. I did see a perfect run of this by Luigi last week. A perfect score is a 30 here. Are we going to see it again? Peach on a bit of a run at the moment. Nice execution by Peach. I think she might still be on the perfect run. Setting up for the final set of four. And here it is. I think we might see another 30 here. Well played. Peach with the perfect game. Owning. Now, if you think it's a little bit unbalanced because she is on super hard and they are all on hard, uh, I recommend you check the end result of last week's match. Because uh, let me tell you, it's not as straightforward as it might seem. Here we go, Princess Peach bringing out the cell phone, calling Baby Bowser's joint. What's it gonna be? Interesting, I, I was expecting a prank call, but she intentionally bought the poison shroom and I don't really know what she might be scheming with that. We'll just have to wait and see what the game plan is. Speaking of mushrooms, we have Wario bringing out one of her own. And uh, yeah, we could have seen a plunder play and the 69, the rare roll coming in from Wario here. An insane roll. Now you don't get money for that, but you do win the heart of the crowd off of that one. Okay, might go for a lamp. Do we have lamp in the shop? There it is, but he doesn't go for it. Instead goes for the golden. Very weird, very weird stuff indeed. I really don't know what the game plan is there. Mm. All right, so going into this next match, what we have here is a survival match. Now, if you're unfamiliar with this one, every 10 seconds, another spiny will drop. DK, the first to fall here. Last player standing will win. Mario goes down just before we got the second shell drop. 14, 13. Two more seconds to go. Nice dodge by Peach. Wow. That was a crazy jump last second there. Wario gets caught up on that upper spiny. Peach will be walking away with a victory. And again, Mario still holding onto the watch. If you're Mario, at what point do you just say, screw it and let it rip? Let the chaos ensue, you know, why not? But no, he knows there's a lot on the line here. He can qualify for grands. If there's ever a time to not let it rip, it is right now, okay? And Peach poisoning herself, interesting. Maybe trying to hit the bank here, but if she messes up, but she doesn't mess up and she hits the bank. What a crazy play by Peach. What? Poisoned herself, landed straight on the bank. That's insane. The foresight to even go for that is just out of this world. DK gets the plus three. We've got another mini game of our own coming in here. Rockin' Raceway. Probably one of my least favorite games, but it's got a horse. So you could call this a bit of a Horus moment. Oh, we have an ad. Pause for the ad. We have an ad going on. Ad break. Crazy match so far, man. And I kind of, I don't mind Peach getting a lot of stars because otherwise we could have seen a short game. And we might actually get the opposite now as a result of it. 
We might see a 55 turn match. I think the longest match we've seen so far in the league is a... Actually, we've only seen 50 turns. We did see one watch used on, I believe, turn 44, which cut off like one or two turns. The shortest match was definitely uh, on week five in the Spiny Desert with Yoshi. Um, we did see that. Oh yeah, we, we did see a 55 turn match in the past. Um, if the if the match does end short, like like way shorter than expected though, what I will do is I'll play a little bit of Supermarket Simulator. Um, actually, I'm gonna get the new game. It's called Grocery Store Simulator. It's different. It's legally distinct. Uh, <laughs> Grocery Store Simulator, and I will play that for the remainder of the length of a normal match. Just so whenever I upload it on YouTube, the VOD looks like a full match, so the people won't know. I actually don't know what the difference is. I haven't even looked at it. I just saw that it came out. They added name changing to the OG one. Oh, they updated that one? I'll have to check it out. We'll see. I'll play one of them, though, to extend the length of the stream so they don't know. The Argent Wolf. Thank you for these 69 months. Very nice. I'll throw a nice out. Why not? Why not? The player interviews were pretty good, by the way. I, I was unsure if they would be worth doing, but they were, they were really funny. I think we're definitely going to do them for grand finals. Uh, I, I, if you missed the, guys, if you missed the beginning of the stream, you should go back and watch the interviews with the players. They were pretty, <laughs> they were pretty entertaining. Uh, I was not sure if they would be worth doing, and I also didn't test the code, but I was confident that it would work, and it pretty much did. So, for once, it paid off. The interview is so good, it changed to I bet on. <laughs> wow that's what we like to hear we love that we love that um guys tomorrow i am gonna be playing mario party 10 trying to do this awful challenge that i've i uh kind of came up with that i don't know if ever anyone's ever done because it's terrible so if you want to meet, if you want to see me suffer in that game tomorrow, that'll be interesting. And uh, a few other updates. I talked about these briefly. One of the ones that was mentioned after the pie playing stream was one where like bodies of text play games, and I'm working on that right now. I don't know if it'll be ready next week, but I'm looking at maybe the week after. We will see on that one. Well, look. To be fair. All the streams suck, but in a way that's entertaining. For me, a stream sucks if it's boring. If I'm suffering and it sucks, but it's entertaining, then that's good. That's what we're about. That's why I played Mario Kart for 27 hours one day. That was crazy. Miri Tari, thank you very much for the 72. Our baby is six years old. Did you save up for the private school? Uh, let me take a look at the YouTube ad revenue for this mo uh, month. Oh God. Yeah, we're definitely going public. We can't do private. Sorry, can't do that. Can't do private. We gotta go public here. <laughs> uh, maybe we check again next month. Maybe the numbers are up and we can go private. But I think the baby's gonna have to start in uh, public school at the moment. Okay, ads are done. Guys, we're gonna go back into it. Thanks for your patience. We're getting back into the gameplay. Let us continue the match.
We are on Rockin' Raceway. We just booted it up here. Now, right off the rip, DK and Wario are using a lot of their carrots. They're gonna let them regen. But that does mean they are gonna hit the first boost earlier than the other players. Peach and Mario starting to use some of their own as well. Wario with a perfectly timed carrot! Big carrot there by Wario. But Peach has slightly better mashing. It's gonna come down to the wire here between them. I don't know who wins this. I think it might come down to this final boost. If Mario mistimes it, it's over. Oh, but Peach hit it just a little bit earlier. Who's, who's the better masher? Peach with a slight edge. Not quite a new record, but it will be a win for Peach. That was close. Peach with a victory. Rayo win, thanks for the 23. Welcome back. Thanks so much. And I'm not gonna lie, guys. Peach is kind of dominating right now. However, you know, I just want to remind you to last week's match, Luigi had a big early lead, and then what happened? Things got a little crazy in the late game. Once everyone had money in their pocket and lamps were flying around. Oh, the warp lock comes out. Is it gonna pay off? It's gonna switch with Mario here and ultimately doesn't really amount to much on this turn. Let's see if it matters more in the future. Wario, not gonna have enough to pay for the star, so instead, gonna pay the moles instead. But he does have a chance at some cash on this battle minigame. How many coins are going into the pot? Let's find out. 10 coins. Not a lot, but to be fair, no one really has a lot of money outside of Peach anyways, so... It's about as good as they would be able to do anyways, regardless, uh, with the exception of Peach. It's gonna be slapped down the minigame. Now, this minigame's all about reactions, but you don't want to go too early. Stop. All right? If you let the nerves get the best of you, and you slap down, it's game over. Mario with the instant slap! Nice slap there, Mario. Kind of pre-fired that. Normally, we don't see an early slap there, but this time it looks like the, the early slap was what was needed. Mario now up to 21 coins. Still without a star, though. After the Peach Star Steal. DK goes for the extra dice block. The forward fruit. And he rolls a three with it. He's gonna go up the upper left there. Probably gonna work his way across that center section of the board in hopes of making his way to the star. But wait, it's time for Waterworld. And this is a personal favorite minigame of mine. Now, almost always, we do see a spin out on the first turn by one of the players. Who's it gonna be this time? And actually, no one. It looks like Mario was gonna spin out, but DK kind of straightened him back up there. Peach with an early lead. Mario not too far behind. It's gonna all come from these turn angles. If you get a good inside turn, that might be what you need to close the gap and maybe even take the lead here. But right now, Peach making quick work of him. Nice turn by Wario, but he's gotta make it happen here. He needs a good inside angle. He's trying to catch up. And too little too late. Peach with a win there. Thank you, RC Fox, for the 88. Welcome back. Thanks so much. Almost a new record there, but Peach gonna edge out the competition and grab a victory on that one. Here we go, Morio rolling a big one. Gets a six here. Or no, an eight, sorry. And the golden shroom. Being brought out by Peach, what is she gonna do with it? A one. A one. A one. Triple ones? What? That is insane. She gets 20 coins, but she also gets to barely go anywhere. Kind of a weird move. And she's gonna use it to go on a battle minigame. Another chance at some cash in the pocket here. Wario has nothing to lose and everything to gain here. Eyes on him on this minigame. 
What's it gonna be? Merry go chomp. This one is all RNG, guys. Straight RNG. Stop. Everyone making their selection here. First one to go is gonna be the Dong. DK going down early. Next selection here, Peach opting to go for the yellow. Mario goes green and Wario landing on the blue. We're gonna be leaving the red open this time around. Now, if he does land on an empty space, he will re-roll. And Wario, the next to go down. We now have a 1v1 on our hands. The rivalry of the night, Mario versus Peach. Peach goes on the green, Mario going on his own color here. And, you know, people generally have some strong opinions about going on your own color. And looks like this time it is going to be ill-advised as Peach walks away with the victory. And I just want to point out the absolute domination we're witnessing here. If we look at the scoreline, I mean, it's not even close, man. Right now, it is a bloodbath. Peach absolutely destroying. And, you know, I'm a little concerned that she's showing this now. I mean, I guess the, the, the saying that runs in the community is that Peach cheats. And perhaps maybe this season, she wanted to prove to everyone, I'm not a cheater. So she didn't use any PEDs, any cheats, anything like that. But once she got eliminated, she realized, I have nothing to lose. And so she not only brought back the cheats, she turned them up to a thousand. Spotlight Swim coming in. Speaking of Peach, she is the solo player on this one. Will she get caught? Nice dodging so far here. But she is going to get caught, actually, surprisingly early there. Wario, Mario, and DK with a pretty swift victory on the Peach in the 1v3. She said, caught! I'm caught! It's Trebuchet, thanks to the 100 bits. Has Peach never cheated in her whole life? But you're making a claim that she has, and I'm, I'm contemplating, has she? And you know what? I feel like a lot of it is propaganda. But she's been on top for way too long, and today we are seeing why the accusations existed in the first place. So now I'm beginning to doubt. I'm a little unsure. And speaking of Peach, that is going to be star number five for her. What? This is crazy, dude. Peach up to five, and let's do a turn check. We'll do a turn check after this. Peach is rolling. We're not even halfway done yet. We could see a 10-star game if this continues. A rare 10-star game. Smile check. There is a chance time angle, guys. You never know with the chance time. DK would have gotten the star. He even got the roll for it, but Peach just that much faster. They do seem to have differences in item usage and stuff and mini game performance. Obviously, the difficulty, I think, is the biggest factor, but there are some, there, there seem to be some variations. All right, Princess Peach immediately gets grabbed there. Mario making quick work of her. And guys, this rivalry just keeps getting more and more personal as the match goes on. Mario tracking DK. Trying to grab him, but he's being a little slippery at the moment. And uh, if we take a look again at the predictions, I think this might be one of the most one-sided predictions that we've ever had. Take a look here. Peach getting 66% with 
with 13 going to Mario, 13 going to DK, and only eight going to Wario. A crazy split. Mario on the board though, he says not so fast. I still have a little life left in me. Oh, and a little bit of even better RNG for Mario. Not only did he get the star, the next one is right there in front of him. He just needs to hope that the mole signs are pointing in the right direction. See, it might seem less crazy than last week until you look at what we are paying attention to for qualification. Right now, the top two people in the existing group of Mario, Wario, and DK Advance. And there are only 11 coins separating them right now. It could literally be a matter of individual coins determining a grand final appearance and an elimination here. Stop. All right, here we go. Princess Peach. Well, we get the one shot. It's gonna take out Wario. And there it is. Princess Peach gets the double limb. Now I did see, it is important to bring up here that we could have a uh, an end game scenario on our hands. In which case everyone would be scrambling. Peach going for the plunder chest here. And if you look at Mario's inventory, you'll see that he does have the wacky watch in hand here. Now, with a plunder chest, you pick who you steal from, but what item you get is 50-50. If she uses it, and it is the Wacky Watch, we could see a very short game on her hands. Moment of truth. Is she gonna get it? And she gets the watch! Peach with the watch plunder! That is craziness. Now, a lot of things are going to happen in a very short amount of time, so I'm gonna try to walk you through them. Likely what we are going to see here is we're going to see a wacky watch used next turn. Now, if that happens, the game, the following turn will be set to turn 46. Even though right now we are on turn 22, no, 24. So that means we will be losing about 20 turns of play. Now, after that happens, it will not be a matter of who wins, but it will be a matter of who qualifies, which means Wario, Mario and DK will be scrambling because at that point every individual coin every star could be the difference maker between making it to grand finals or not Now there is a world where a plunder is picked up But I don't know if it will have a chance to be used before the watch goes into play We do have the poison shroom coming out here but depending on what happens these next couple of turns, things could get a little crazy. DK goes for the eight. It's gonna hit the bank. That's gonna be a nice payout, but not quite what we need at this moment in time. And this watch could be even more crazy because uh, we were talking about how Wario is more of a late game player. You know, DK has been consistently a high performer. But they're not gonna have time to cook. You know, this is like putting a frozen piece in the oven and then taking it out after five minutes. It's not done yet. It's not done. You know, and you can't eat a half frozen pizza. I mean, that just sucks. So the watch will likely reward a strong early game. Everyone guessing the boo here. We have a nice symmetrical split there. Should be an easy question. Yeah. First from the left should be pretty straightforward. And what are we gonna see? Now, if we do have time, guys, what I will do is we will do a dual match to determine, I think, fifth and sixth placement. Because we already did one for seven and eight. That way, everyone will have final standings. 
uh, because one through four will be determined during the grand finals. So it's a good opportunity to really know the exact position everyone placed. And if that happens, we'll actually have a rare appearance from someone who played last week unexpectedly showing up for a 1v1 duel match. Which would be crazy. Mario and Wario walking away with a victory, but the real victor here, likely Peach with the Wacky Watch. Mario, a star here would be huge for him, especially because we're likely gonna be moving into the end game. Wario the underdog is gonna be going up two stars. Again, reminder to everyone, if you are unfamiliar with the format, Peach cannot qualify for Grand Final. She is eliminated. She is only here to cause a ruckus, and let me tell you, with the watch, she is definitely gonna do that. Which means the other three players are the only ones to qualify, and so Mario getting a star here is very, very good to strengthen his chances of a Grand Finals appearance. But here it is, the watch coming out! The wacky watch! being brought into play. Get your fives in the chat. And just like that, now just to show you, we're on turn 25 of 50. Let's do a turn check after this, everybody. Oh, Wario. He's gambling it all on a battle game. He says, I need money and I need it now because if he doesn't get out of DK, he is going home after this. He is going home after tonight. Well, I guess he'll be playing in the in the tiebreaker match, the the fifth and sixth place match. But he doesn't want that. He wants that grand finals appearance. I mean, you heard him in the interview, right? This guy was confident. Stop. Mushroom doors. We are looking for the mushroom key. DK actually got good RNG there, but instead decided to run across the whole stage. It's not gonna matter though, because he didn't make it to the door. Mario getting eliminated here. Bad RNG for Peach. Wario fighting DK for the key here. Now they gotta be careful because if they stall out and neither of them make it to the door, Peach just instant wins and Wario is gonna go down. DK moving into a 1v1 with Peach. RNG favoring Peach here. DK goes for the punch and he's punching the air man. Peach walking away with a minigame victory. And what was that guy doing? What was he cooking? 28-12, the breakdown. DK, big roll coming in. Might still have time, and again, just to, oh wait, the turn hasn't ended yet. We'll do a turn check after this, but DK is right in front of the shop, and if he gets a lot of money from the 1v3, he could convert that money into a lamp and then into a star. So the game is not over yet in terms of qualification purposes. Right now, it's looking fairly obvious Peach is running away with it. As far as the prediction is concerned, that might be written away. But these guys are fighting for their lives. Anyone could still qualify for grands here if they play their cards right. Coin minigame could be huge for all parties. Will Peach get the bag? Yes, 17. So everyone getting at least the minimum amount you would get from winning a minigame. And oh, I thought they were gonna split the bag there. So 70 coins to DK. If it comes to tiebreakers, DK likely going to be the winner right now in terms of money. But here we are, final five unexpectedly off of the wacky watch. Mario getting a, a, a 10 coin bonus though from the Millennium Star. Interesting stuff here. Mario working his way around the left-hand side, that lower left. Is he gonna pay the moles? Yes, he is. That money being invested. M Mario did not use the watch. The watch was stolen from, from him by Peach. All right, we have ourselves an item minigame. There is a lamp available. This would be huge for Mario. This is a must grab lamp. If he gets this, he might be able to lock in his spot in the grands. And he goes for it, but he's a little too far there. 
only gets the standard mushroom instead. Now he's still sitting comfortably because he has two stars, whereas Wario and DK both have one. But if DK does get a lamp, it's gonna be bad news bears. Peach going for the gold in here. Let's see what Wario's got for us. Wario doesn't have a skeleton key. It's gonna be forced down to the right because of Mario paying the moles. This is a big one. Does he get towed? If he gets towed, there can be a lamp. There it is. But he doesn't go for the lamp. Interesting move by DK. He goes for another golden. That's a crazy DK play. Why would he do that? He's putting it to chance. I mean, look, he still qualifies right now over Wario, but a lamp there into a guaranteed star would be much better for his chances. Another coin minigame. Interesting that we got these almost back to back here. This one really depends on if the hammer bro likes you or not, because sometimes he throws the bag straight on your head. Sometimes he hits you with the hammer. We got a double bag up top by Mario DK. 17 to 18. Pretty close, honestly. Very close. Wow, this might be one of the highest scoring plays of this minigame I've ever seen. 20 to 18, that is a lot of money being paid out. This makes the end game very interesting because look at the economy right now. It's looking the healthiest it's ever been. And there is still the possibility of the chance time. Now it's pretty unlikely, but imagine it happens. There is an option. There is a possibility there. Mario brings out the shroom. What's he gonna do with this? Two and a five. What are we gonna have here? Mario goes for. Okay, interesting choice. If you're just joining us and you're wondering how did the game get to this point, it seems a little early to be in the final five turns. Mario got himself a wacky watch. It then got stolen by Peach and then she used it. That's how we got here. All right, so Mario valuing the item over the bank honestly i think at this stage in the game that's it makes sense it does make sense but i don't think he got the items that he wanted let's see what do we have here wario are we gonna see the reverse room no the poison coming out interesting onto himself trying to repeat the play that we saw peach make earlier will he be able to replicate her success no he's gonna go to a battle game instead and these battle games are dangerous because the amount of money exchanging hands between the three players fighting for qualification could be the difference maker. Like any of these battle games could be the thing. And it's a juicer, a 50 coiner. Dude, if you are looking to qualify for grand finals, DK, Wario, Mario, you must win this game. Or at the very least, you need to get some of your money back. We'll see how they fare here. Interestingly enough, we did see this last week when we had one super hard computer and three hard computers. And actually the super hard computer was the first to be eliminated, but this time it's DK. He didn't even make it through the first cycle. Gets taken out instantly there. Not a great look for the dong. Mario and Peach both getting shocked. A big win for Wario. Wario, when we were going to count him out, wins big on the battle minigame. And this was a must win game for him. He is going to fly up in the placement here. Now, even though he's in third, if it does come down to a tiebreaker, look at how many more coins he has than DK. That might have been what he needed, but wait a minute. Well, actually they can't duel because Mario has no money now. Mario losing his money is a little bit scary if you're a Mario fan. I'll do a turn check uh, after the item minigame. What are we gonna have here? Oh, add. We gotta pause. I'm gonna pause. Pause for Ed. Hello, Raise Fire's Head. I don't even know this account. Who's this account? I've never seen a Raise Fire's Head account before.
Now, let's take a look at this. This is this is something that someone made on the canvas, but it is actually relevant to um, to the matchup tonight. So if I bring up this page on the canvas, um, you'll see that it looks pretty diverse, right? We're getting a lot of cool stuff. It's really growing. And by the way, if you haven't uh, contributed to the canvas yet, I updated it tonight. There is a new purple color. And I'm... I'm placing it here just so you can see what it looks like. Um, but also, the cooldown is now only two minutes instead of three. Minus one minute. That means you get to place them significantly faster. Which is big. But, uh, there is something I actually wanted to look at here. Let me look at this. So someone made this. The top four. Right? Now we have Daisy here. We have Yoshi. We have Wario. And we have DK. Now, Daisy and uh, Yoshi converted. Last week, they made it through. They are sitting in Grand Finals. And if we want to see all four of these guys in Grand Finals, then Wario and DK are going to have to clutch up. Otherwise, the underdog, Mario, will come in, the number six seed, and disrupt everything. Uh, there was someone who originally made this. I think it said, like, Waluigi, and it said 7th, and then someone made it a bunch of E's. I don't know what happened there. Uh, there also is a little bit of support here for Waluigi and Yoshi. Now, obviously, Waluigi did not make it through, uh, but it says win, which is nice. Yoshi still has a chance. And honestly, this is kind of why I made the canvas. You can make whatever you want here, for the record. I don't care. But I wanted it so people would be able to, like, support the league and kind of show their, uh, allegiance, their alliance, who, who they supported. And so every time I see something like that, it makes me kind of happy. I mean, we've got a daisy down here. I love the daisy art. Looks nice. Uh, but, yeah, everything looking cool. And, uh, if you want to contribute in this, by the way... You're welcome to do so. Exclamation point canvas or go to MarioPartyLeague.com slash canvas. I actually think, I know I've been saying this, but I think I fixed all the bugs on it. I think everything on this should work now. <laughs> There's no weird bugs with the, the positioning. The cooldown works. There's a lot of colors now. I mean, look at all the colors. I actually think I fixed all the bugs. So anyways, shout outs to the canvas. Uh, we've got about a minute left on the ads. Will there be Shudmar tonight? What we are going to do, guys, is after this match ends, because we will finish out of schedule, I'm going to do one dual match with super hard computers in a 1v1. And that will determine who gets fifth and sixth in the league. And that will be played by the two people that got, get eliminated. So the person that got eliminated last week, which I believe was Waluigi, and the person that gets eliminated this week, who is yet to be determined. You will be able to bet on that. But if we do that, we will be able to know everyone's individual placement. Because we already know who got 7th and 8th. And we're going to know 1, 2, 3, and 4 next week. So being able to do 5 and 6 this week would be great. But So we're going to finish this match. We'll do that match. And if we have time left in the stream, I'll either check out the Supermarket Sim update. Or I'll try out Grocery Store Simulator, which is different. But also kind of the same. Okay, I need to run to the bathroom right quick. I think the ads are just about done, but it'll be a fast one. And then when I get back, we will uh, continue.
right, guys, we are back for what might be the final turns of the Mario Party Spring 2024 CPU League semifinals. All right, it all comes down to this. Let's get into the action. We've got ourselves an item minigame here by DK. We'll see what he gets. And that's going to be a reverse room being collected by DK. Interesting. Very, very interesting stuff. So let us see what we're working with here. Turn check 47 of 50. So I don't want to say it's too late yet. There are still opportunities for people to make things happen here, but there is not a lot. And Mario, after losing pretty much all of his money in that uh, battle mini game, needs to get money and he needs to get it fast. Because I could see this coming down to a tie break for qualification um, because they all have kind of similar stars except for Peach. And if that does happen, he is going to get knocked out. He's going to be the weakest link. Mario doing a good job on this minigame, though. He's kind of cooking. But look at Peach. She's right there at the boat. She says, I'm not afraid of you. Oh, but she does get knocked back. And I thought that he might have had it there. But no, Peach and DK both hang on. And they are going to survive. We could see a bonus situation. And it might come down to happening because Peach likely has minigame and coin. I mean, she, des she definitely has coin. I mean, look at her money, right? So it could come down to a happening. And just to explain the format again, because we have a very unique situation on our hands because Peach is basically guaranteed to win. Peach is eliminated. That's why she is on super hard. Everyone else is on the hard difficulty. Which means for qualification purposes, the top two placing players that are not Peach move on to the grand finals. So second and third is what we're paying attention to here. And so I'm talking about coins and stars and bonus, and you're probably thinking, well, that doesn't matter. Peach has so much of a, like, so, so many stars more than everybody else. Such a big advantage that it can't possibly matter, right? Well, I'm not worried about Peach. We're worried about the players that can qualify here. Guys, I've made the decision. We are going to do uh, a dual match after this, so stick around. There is going to be more game to be played tonight. We're going to be making an unexpected dip into the dual mode for a 1v1 to determine 5th and 6th place overall in the league. Peach getting a star here. And that might actually be good for everyone else because likely that star wouldn't have been collected by them, so a new position gives them an opportunity. So basically, whoever loses this one, while they are down, we are going to force them to play again. <laughs> and right now, if everything stays as it's looking, that's going to be DK getting eliminated. DK going home early. But he says, not so fast if I have anything to say about it. He does have two Goldens. That could be big for board movement. But he's got a long way to go, man. Oh, here we go. Toad is here. We could get a rare item. But no, it's not going to happen. Dueling Glove might actually be huge. Etch and catch. Not a big fan of this minigame personally, but, you know. We'll see how they fare. We've got a 2v2 on our hands. Princess Peach and Wario up against DK and Mario here. The goal to draw a circle around the Toad stamp. If you do it, you get a point. The team with the most at the end will win. Right now, we're all tied up. One apiece. Why is she in the game? Because you can't do a Mario Party match with three people. <laughs> So I had to have a fourth person, and I figured, bring in the eliminated player, let him cause a ruckus for the fans. Yo! And it's going to be three to two, the scoreline here, Peach and Wario, on the way with a victory. If you want the full explanation as to why, check the format page on MarioPartyLeague.com. It has a full written explanation of everything, including the format and my reasoning over there. 
Last two turns, Mario. Are we gonna see him use the phone? No, actually. Feeling confident without the phone. Doesn't even need it. It's gonna be plus five coins to Mario. Probably not what he wanted there. We are on turn 49 of 50, by the way, guys. Peach bringing out the, Bur the Bowser fursuit. And I don't know if anyone's nearby, so this might just be a cosplay. And, uh, yeah, that's what it's looking like. She's gonna buy another one. She, she liked it so much, she bought a second one. Look at that. At this point, she's just having fun. Why not, right? She has nothing to lose. Oh, uh, we could see a final turn lamp by Wario. Would be huge for qualification. He goes for it. The last turn lamp by Wario might be what he needs to lock it in. DK is in a dire situation. He needs to make moves now. But how is he going to do it? He's bringing out the golden shroom. Two, eight, four. What's he going to do with it? If that is enough to get him to the shop, maybe we see a world where he buys himself a lamp, but he, I think he's going to be short. I think he's going to be short of the lamp. No, but he landed on an item game. This is very important. If he gets a lamp here, he might be able to take Mario out. Or a boo could be huge as well. This is the most important Dory dip of the season for DK. The lamp is in the ring. Will he hit it? Stop. Goes for it. No! Finish. Instead, he gets just himself a little mushroom. He does have the reverse shroom in pocket, though. It's kind of gummed down to that roll. No, but he, he doesn't have enough money. He doesn't have enough money for it. I don't think he can steal. He, he doesn't have enough for the star. It might be over for him unless it comes down to bonus. If it comes down to bonus, man. That's that's difficult. That's, that's, that's a hard sell, man. I don't know if he gets that. I guess it's, we're going to find out, man. I guess we're going to find out. This might be the end of the hard dong. Very controlled minigame by DK and Wario. And yeah, DK's gonna walk away with a W on that one. So he did win the minigame. Now, I think he goes last. This would be a bit of a long shot, but if there is some other way that he gets money before it's his turn and he gets 50 coins, we could see the reverse. I would say the dueling glove, but that's not gonna work because he can't use both. Here we go, Mario. Who's he gonna use it on? Using it on himself. An interesting move here. The Mario Gambit. To land on the blue space. Imagine he pulls a hidden block there. But wait, Peach brings out the Bowser suit. Battle minigame is what we need, or it's what DK needs, for him to have a chance at the last turn star seal. Right now, 0 for 2. Wario is gonna lamp here, most likely. Here it is. And I think with this lamp, Wario is going to punch in his ticket into Grand Finals. So it's gonna come down to the 1v1 between DK and Mario. One more appearance of the Mushroom Genie tonight. Wait, but we might see him actually go even further beyond. He could hit a boo here. Wait, but if he rolls high enough, he could land on the space DK's on, which would be a crazy turn of event. Yay! Or, oh, but he, this, uh, can he get there? I don't know if DK can get that, to that star. Does he have a mushroom? He has a mushroom. He has options. He could go for it. Is he gonna mushroom here? No, he's going reverse. He's reversing it. Wait, this is crazy. What's his, what's he cooking, dude? What is he cooking? That might have been the worst move of all time. All right, final minigame of the night here. 
after the crazy wacky watch play by Peach earlier on here. But guys, stay tuned in because we are going to be doing one more match after this. The eliminated player this week versus the eliminated player of last week to determine fifth and sixth overall in the league. Peach off to an early lead here. Peach, nice board development. Does clean it up pretty nicely. Wario needs to convert here. He gets the thwomp. Nice conversion, but I think he wants more of a combo. Peach absolutely destroying them on this minigame, though. This is looking not even close. Oh, a bit of a combo going for Wario, but not enough. And that is a win for Peach on the final minigame. Now, guys, it comes down to the happening stars here. If DK gets this, he has more money than Mario. He moves on to grand finals. If anyone else gets it, Mario, the number six seed, the underdog, will have a spot in grand finals. Moment of truth here. Peach will, of course, get the final laugh here, walking away with a victory. And it wasn't even close. Look at that. A power gap. Minigame star. That's gonna go to Peach and the coin. But really, we care about the happening star. Here we go. And he goes to Mario! Mario shuts him down! He says, not so fast! The dong goes home! Mario and Wario moving on into Grand Finals. Peach getting one final laugh and DK. One of the strongest and most consistent performers all throughout the league. Coming up short here in semifinal match number two. The hard dong not enough today. Let's take a look at the final results here. Peach making history here. A uh, crazy performance. Now, if you're wondering why was the match so short, it all comes off of a wacky watch collected by Mario, stolen by Peach, rolled into a very strong performance by her all throughout the match. Now, we're going to do a couple of things. We are going to be doing one, one, one more match tonight. We're going to be doing a dual 1v1 with the now eliminated Dong up against the eliminated Waluigi. This will determine who ends in fifth and who gets sixth overall in the league as they are now both out. But I also need to quickly update the schedule because we can preview the grand finals matchup as well. I do want to bring in for an interview. We're going to be bringing in DK himself. See what he has to say about this. Going down early here. Let me take a look at this. Let's do a, uh, a post-game DK interview <laughs> who's Scottish and sounds like a toad for some reason, but uh, don't worry about that. We can look past that. Mario is going to be moving in as the number one seed from this semifinal match. Wario moving on in the number two seed. Uh, our final matchup, guys, it will update on the schedule soon enough, but it is going to be Yoshi and Mario, the two top performers of their semifinal matches, in the winner's side of the Grand Finals. Not that it matters, but just in case you're wondering who's the favorites. Mario and Yoshi. And also, filling out the Grand Finals match in the number two slot, we have Daisy and Wario. This will be in one week on Creepy Caverns, and this is winner takes all. Winner is the undisputed champion of the Mario Party 3 Spring 2024 League. I don't have Waluigi. Uh, well, Waluigi was not prepared today. I don't know if we can interview him because he wasn't expecting to show up until the wacky watch happened. But let me really quickly go over to this screen so we can do our interview. Uh, we can bring in Peach and DK. Let's bring in Peach first. She did win. I think it's only fair that we, we bring her in, see how she felt, uh, how she feels after winning the game. Give me a second. I need to get her mic'd up here. Let's get her mic'd up. Valley Girl Peach making an appearance tonight. Yet again. 
Wait, actually, she can see the results of the match. I need to get this screen pulled up so she can see it. Princess Peach, as you can see here, this is the final results of the match tonight. Now, you ended in eighth place overall in the league, but you had one final chance to cause a ruckus, and you did. Off an insane wacky watch steal into use play, you cut 20 turns off of the match, and you just dominated. You destroyed. What do you have to say about this? How are you feeling? Let's see what she has to say about this. Oh, darling, it was simply delightful, wasn't it? <laughs> Asterisk, giggles, Asterisk. I may have been eliminated earlier, but tonight I showed everyone that you should never underestimate a princess. Cutting those 20 turns off with that wacky watch was just a bit of chaos. I needed to stir the pot <laughs> and shake things up. The look on everyone's faces was absolutely priceless. I must say, it was quite satisfying to see Mario scramble after all the stars, <laughs> only to fall short in the end. And Wario and DK, they never stood a chance with my elegant yet cunning gameplay. I had a blast causing mayhem and making sure everyone was on their toes. I'm feeling absolutely fabulous. Thank you. Thank Tonight's you. match was the perfect stage for me to shine one last time and remind everyone why they should always keep an eye on Princess Peach. She's kind of slaying. Asterisk, wink sisterisk. To all the semi-finalists, a word of advice, stay vigilant. Because oh, you never she's know giving when I might sweep in and turn the game upside down. Tata, darlings. Asterisk, blows a kiss, asterisk. <laughs> All right, so as you can see here, you won by over five stars and 200 coins. What inspired you to destroy the competition so hard? And what do you have to say about the cheating allegations being brought against you, particularly by Raise Fire's Twitch chat moderators? She has to address the allegations. We need to know the truth. Oh, sweetie, when you have a crown as fabulous as mine, you have to live up to it. My inspiration, simply put, I wanted to leave a lasting impression. I may not have been in the running for the grand prize, but I wanted to remind everyone that Princess Peach knows how to dominate the game with style and grace. True. Plus, causing a bit of chaos is just too much fun to resist. Wah! Asterisk giggles. Asterisk. As for these cheating allegations from oh, Rave Spire's Twitch chat moderators, let's see. Let's address that, shall we? Let's address that. A princess plays with poise and integrity. Oh. I didn't need any underhanded tactics to achieve my victory. It's all about strategy, charm, and a sprinkle of luck. It's not my fault if some players can't handle a little competition from royalty. Asterisk, <laughs> winks, asterisk. Remember, darling, Sometimes people just can't accept that they're outclassed. Let them talk. I'll just keep dazzling and winning. To my lovely fans, thank you for your unwavering support. And to the naysayers, I say, catch me if you can. Asterisk, <laughs> blows a kiss, asterisk. <laughs> okay, final question. And we'll let you go. Congrats again on your final victory, your final shot at revenge in the CPU League. When you saw Mario pull that wacky watch early on, what were your thoughts? And what made you risk it on the 50-50 with the plunder chest? That was an insane move. No one was expecting that. I'll pay out the prediction in a second. I just, we need to get through the interviews. Oh, when I saw Mario with that wacky watch, I knew something had to be done. True. Darling, you can't just let a move like that go unanswered. It was audacious, yes, but that's what makes the game thrilling. Seeing him <laughs> with that time-altering item was like a call to action for me. 
my competitive spirit simply couldn't resist. The decision to risk it with the plunder chest was a calculated one. Oh. Sometimes you have to embrace a bit of daring to achieve greatness. A 50 50th chance might seem like a gamble to some. Okay. But for me, it was an opportunity. I trusted my instincts and my luck, and the reward was absolutely worth it. The look on Mario's face when he realized I had snatched his precious wacky watch. Priceless. Asterisk <laughs> giggles. Asterisk. It was a move that required confidence, strategy, and a touch of royal flair. And it paid off splendidly. To everyone watching, always remember, fortune favors the bold, especially when you're a princess. To the semi-finalists, keep your wits about you and never underestimate the power of a well-timed risk. I'll be watching closely, darlings. May the best player win. And remember, a little chaos can make the game all the more enchanting. Asterisk blows a kiss. Asterisk, best of luck, everyone. Asterisk waves elegantly. Asterisk. Bye. Okay, thank you, Peach. All right, give me a second. We gotta bring DK in. Let me get him mic'd up. We'll put the we'll put the lav mic on his tie. Uh, I gotta get his thoughts on this. KD, Kevin Durant. He's repping his favorite uh, basketball player. All right, let's see what he's got for us. Welcome into the booth, DK, in the post game. As you can see on the screen here, you came in fourth, man. And you know what that means? A fourth place means you are now eliminated from the league. You will not be moving on to the grand finals. And actually, in just a moment here, you're going to be playing against the other eliminated player from the semifinals match last week, Waluigi, in a 1v1 duel. So to start us off, tell us your thoughts. What went wrong? What would you have done differently? And are you ready for the match against Waluigi here in a couple of minutes? Or are you rattled? All right, let's see what he's got for us. Asterisk, ooh, ooh, <laughs> ah, Donkey Kong smash. Yeah, losing this match on Woody Woods. Not my finest moment. Asterisk beats chest asterisk. But hey, even the great DK can have an off day. Peach <laughs> causing chaos, Mario and Wario stealing my stars. It was a tough jungle out there. What went wrong? Asterisk scratches head asterisk. What went wrong? Probably got too excited and went for too many bananas instead of focusing on the stars. And maybe, uh, just maybe, I underestimated the trickiness of Woody Woods. Those trees have a mind of their own, you know. As for Waluigi, Asterisk pounds, chest asterisk, bring it on. DK oh, he's still is never ready. rattled. I'll show him who's the king of the jungle Wait, in this 1v1 duel. He's ready. He may have his sneaky moves, but I've got the power and the will to win. Ready to go ape on him. Asterisk, ooh, ooh, ah, uh, ah. Uh. Asterisk points to self asterisk. DK will redeem himself. Watch out, Waluigi. You're about to get a face full of banana power. Asterisk <laughs> roars, asterisk. Oh, <laughs> what? <gasps> Dude, what? <laughs> All right, thanks, man. I'm excited to see you out there on the battlefield. I don't want to take too much of your time because I know you got to go get ready for this. We're playing an entirely different mode that you probably weren't even anticipating playing today. But what are your thoughts on the wacky watch that was used during this match that shortened your chances of victory? Are you feeling a little bitter about it? And second of all, uh, do you have any words for your fans? There was a lot of faith in the hard dong today. And unfortunately, it didn't pay off. You let him down, man. All right, then we're going to get ready for the match after this, guys. Asterisk, gosh. ooh, ooh, ah, ah, the wacky watch. Asterisk snorts, asterisk. Yeah, that thing really threw a banana peel in my plans. Yeah. Just when I was picking up steam and ready to swing into action, it cut my chances short. Bitter, maybe a bit, but DK doesn't dwell on the past. 
we move forward stronger and smarter. Yes! To my fans, asterisk thumps chest asterisk. I know you had faith in the hard DK today. I'm sorry I couldn't bring the victory home, but remember, even when the going gets tough, DK never gives up. We'll come back bigger and better, and next time it's gonna be bananas. Asterisk, ooh, ooh, ah, ah. Your support means everything to me, and I promise to train harder, jump higher, and smash stronger. Keep believing in me, because DK will always bounce back. Now, it's time to show Waluigi what real power looks like. Let's go. Asterisk pounds, chest asterisk, DK out. Asterisk roars asterisk. Wow. What did he say? Hold up, I need to look at the text. Okay, I have one final question for him. Roars. He roared. Okay, I've got one final question for you, man. Do you have any closing thoughts and final words for your fans? Oh, and also, can you give me a simple Python calculator that I can uh, use to do basic arithmetic? Thank you. <laughs> what turn was the watch used? Like 25, I think. Asterisk, ooh, ooh, ah, ah, final thoughts for my fans. Okay, let's asterisk, see. Asterisk, beats chest, asterisk. Thank you for sticking with me through thick and thin. Even though today wasn't our day, remember that DK always comes back stronger. Yes! Your support is what fuels my banana power, and I'll keep fighting for you all. Asterisk, ooh, ooh, ooh ah, ah. To Waluigi, you better watch out. DK is coming for you, and I'm ready to smash my way to victory. He's in this coming! Duel. Asterisk pounds chest asterisk. Let's make this count. And as for that Python calculator, here you go. Even DK knows how to code a bit. Asterisk <laughs> wins asterisk. Python hash, simple Python calculator, def add x, y, return what? x plus y, def, subtract x, y, return x, y, def, multiply x, y, return x, what? asterisk y, def, divide x, y, if y equals sign, equals sign zero, return error, division by zero. Else, return X, Y, def, calculator. Print, select operation. Print, one, add, print, two, subtract, print, three, multiply, print, four, divide, choice, equal sign, input, enter choice, one, two, three, four. Num one, equal sign, float, input, enter first number. <laughs> Num two equal sign float input. He's Enter giving me a number. Python if calculator. Equal sign equal sign one. Print f num one plus num two equal sign add num one num two. Zoiza, thanks for the forty four. Welcome sign, back. Two. Print f num one num two equal sign subtract num one num two. Elif choice equal sign equal sign three. Print f num one asterisk num two equal sign <laughs> multiply num one num two. Elif choice no. equal sign equal sign four. Print f num one num two equal sign divide num one num <laughs> two. Else print invalid input if underscore underscore name underscore underscore equal sign equal sign underscore underscore. Wait, is he just gonna be done after this or what? Calculator. Asterisk. Ooh, ooh, ah, ah. Now get out there and crunch some numbers <laughs> with that calculator. And remember, DK will be back stronger than ever. Asterisk roars, asterisk, asterisk, pounds, chest, asterisk, DK out. I think it would work, actually. When he's saying printf, there's just a parenthesis. It looks like this. Okay, thank you, DK. All right, well, that has been uh, the interview. All right, we need to now do... I need to set up. I was not expecting this, but we are bringing in... We're bringing in Waluigi. He's coming in off the bench. This is the fifth place deciding match that we're going to be doing here. Fifth place match. We have Waluigi 8 versus 
DK, who was the third seed. A big upset, actually, by Mario there. That's kind of crazy. Guys, don't copy-paste that. <laughs> don't... Don't paste the Elif choice to... I mean... Oh. <laughs> okay. You know what? It's fine. We're learning programming today. That's, you know, it's good. All right, if you're unfamiliar with the dual map, I will actually do the dual tutorial, because... Actually, I won't do the dual tutorial. It takes too long, but... Uh, what I will do here is... First of all, let me pay out the prediction to Peach. You will get another chance to bet, guys. Um, but the way the dual map works is as follows. Okay, I'm going to be very fast on this, so pay attention. You pick a character. Each character has a different starting partner. In this match, DK will be starting with the Womp, and uh, Waluigi will be starting with the Piranha Plant. As you can see, every partner has HP, an attack power, and a coin number, which is their salary. You attack your opponents by running into them on the board while you have a partner. That partner then will attack your opponent, and when they run out of life, game over. However, if you don't have enough money to pay their salary, which is this number here, your partners go poof, and then you're exposed. So this is going to be a battle of survivability. Each player start with 5 HP. The winner is the one that makes the other one go to zero. There are no stars. There are no... A lot of things. No items. None of that. It's all replaced with the partner system. Okay? And it makes sense once we uh, take a look at the actual gameplay. So if you're confused, don't worry. It'll, it'll make sense in just a minute here. Good choice. Uh, so let's do another prediction. Who wins fifth place match? We have... DK, third seat. And Waluigi, the eighth seat. Either way, I feel like Waluigi's happy with the result here because he went into the playoffs in eighth. And the worst he can get now is sixth. We're gonna make this prediction a little bit shorter because you never know how the dual matches are gonna go. So you get a 15 minute pred. We are gonna be playing on super hard difficulty, guys. And uh, let me take a look at the dual map rotation. So we did gate guy, we did arrowhead. We are now gonna be moving on pipe squeak. This is probably the most RNG heavy dual map. So it's all gonna come down to chance. The super hard dong will be making a a brief appearance here. Maybe not in the context that you guys wanted it to be, which was grand finals, but he's got one shot here. He better make it count. Super hard dong. Uh actually, I think we are good on ads, so we can probably just get into the chaos here. Because an ad ran during the interview, or during the end of the interview while I was setting this up, I think. So we can just get started. Uh, if you're trying to get info on the tournament, do exclamation point CPU, the website, MarioPartyLeague.com. Uh, let me show you what it looks like here. We have a playoff bracket page. Uh, I need to add in the 7th and 5th place matches because I didn't add those in, but this match just wrapped up here. This is Grands next week, guys. Mark it on your schedule. The 12th of July, 7.30 U.S. Central. But the, this, this should be converted to your time zone. So you can just go here on your own browser and it'll tell you the time. Okay. All right. Let us begin. The fifth place tiebreaker begins now. Pipe Squeak is going to be the name of the board here. And we will be doing a coin flip. Um, 
to determine whether or not uh, DK's partner will be going in front or behind because that is something that is randomly determined. Uh, there is no dice roll here at the beginning, but you do have to choose your partner's location. If you put them behind you, they will tank a hit if you get attacked from behind. If you put them in front of you, they can attack if you attack your opponent head on. So if you have a defensive partner like DK has, it's more beneficial in most cases to put him behind. If he's in front and he has zero attack power, it is not gonna be a good option for him here. So let's do the coin flip. And it's heads, which is not what you wanna see if you are a DK fan because the Thwomp has an attack power of zero. So he can't do any damage. You can see there, zero attack, four HP. He's more of a defensive option. However, uh, I highly doubt that these partners will remain for a long time. Uh, what happens in a lot of these cases is they go broke and lose their partner, so it almost doesn't matter. Uh, I would say slight edge to Waluigi. He has a better partner, but I mean, he's got a salary of five, so unless he gets money, that's only gonna last for a couple of turns, right? And here we go. First rolls coming out. Both players making their way. Are we gonna see a pipe here? Yes. Now the thing about pipe squeak is that it's very RNG heavy. You can go into a pipe and you never know what's gonna happen, but look at this! A turn one attack! Waluigi says, hey man, you just played a game. I'm all rested up. I'm making quick work of it, dude. Minus three here on turn one off of the pipe RNG. And he sets up for another attack here by going into reverse. We'll see how DK responds here. Sets up for a double. And he, he's gonna need a big roll. He needs to get out of there ASAP. Otherwise, this is gonna be a two-turn Andy. Okay, he did get the roll he needed. If he rolled lower there, it would have actually been over. Fortunately for DK, we did not see a two-turn game. But wait a minute, Waluigi says not so fast. He tried to reverse himself too, but no. It's not gonna matter here. He's gonna go back to start which means he'll get a 10 coin bonus. He rolls for another partner. And we move on. That is a bit of a lucky break for Dong, but he is still in the danger zone. We might have to preemptively end the prediction here, guys. I mean, this might be over before it starts. Here we go, DK goes in the pipe. It puts him in the lower right. Now that guy right there, that guy's name is Belltop. Uh, I'll mention what he does when that thing gets closer to zero. Right now, it doesn't really do too much for us. He could be dangerous for DK though. All right, so we've got a duel game coming in. Reminder, they are playing on super hard. Winning a duel minigame in this mode when you land on a duel space nets you 10 coins. And it's very useful in the early game when money is hard to come by and you're trying to make sure that you can maintain your partner's salary. Um, as money gets easier to obtain later on in the game, these spaces matter less. But right now, winning them is huge. Waluigi is moving. Should be a win unless he overshoots it. He's slowing down. He might go too far. And they made it close, but Waluigi winning. I'm the bank. Do -do 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 -do. So Belltop is going to pay out the coins to the winner. Waluigi will be taking the money here. I'm the bank. And wow, look at this. DK, one coin, two life. He's going to lose his partner this turn. He might even just lose the game. Oh, wait, this could be game over. If it's bottom left, it's GG. DK fans breathing a sigh of relief here. It took him to the upper right. The pipes are RNG. That would have been checkmate for the dong. And he's actually gonna replace the piranha plant. Interesting choice. Uh, yeah, I'll take a look at the canvas at the end of the stream here. I don't know if we're even gonna get to the first break of this match. It might be over before it begins. And 
and poof! There goes his partner. Now, if you're a DK fan or you're DK himself, there is one thing that can get you out of this mess, okay? If you land on a question mark space, you bring up a roulette wheel, and on that wheel, there is the option to restore all heart pieces. And that would be a, a factory reset for DK. But that is a tall ask. What does this duel determine? This duel will determine who gets sixth place and fifth place in the league overall. At the end of this game, we will know what the bottom four looks like. Peach got last. Oh God, here we go. And he's going back. Wait, this is crazy. This is actually crazy. There's so much that's happening. Wait, but we might actually see a little return fire here. So since he's going in reverse, his back partner gets to attack instead, which is the Boo should be able to take out the Koopa. Koopa's dead. And so no damage done here, but wait a minute, it's game guy time. Hello, bird girl. Our first game guy of the duel coming in. What's it gonna be? Lucky seven. If DK wins this, this would be an insane come from behind victory. Not the duel, I mean the whole match, but this would still be a big start for him if he won this also. Five, that's a good roll. Game guy has bad odds on this now. He's gonna have to roll again. And he needs a five or a six, and he got a two. If DK doesn't troll this, he wins. He's, he's greeting it. What? He busted, what a crazy move by DK. It was a free win. All he had to do was say no to the roll. The gambling addiction comes back to haunt him yet again. Here comes the hammer of shame. And wow, this could be checkmate. But to be fair, at this point, he did this to himself. And if he loses the game now, I mean, he did it himself. He set himself up for a loss. Uh oh, wait a minute. Wait, but he lost his front partner, so he can't attack now. A bit of good news for the Dong. Luckily, DK, before he pulled a crazy move there, uh, did use the Boo in reverse to get rid of the Koopa Troopa, meaning that his life is gonna remain intact. And he's gonna be going backwards here. What is this link? Let me look at this. <laughs> This is a crazy minigame, I like it. Or a crazy item, or emote, sorry. It's a good one though, the Dong Gamba. We're seeing it happen again here. Now if your partners get powered up, their, uh, their HP and attack get doubled, but so does their salary. And with Boo in reverse, that is not great for Waluigi. He's just paying money for nothing essentially. Oh, good roll by DK. Is gonna be able to get himself a little bit of money by going back to start here. And every third attempt you get the lucky roulette, which means it goes much slower. You essentially get to pick the partner you want. And he goes for the thwomp. He's playing a defensive game now. He's decided no more risking it. I'm taking the thwomp. And can you really blame him for that? For the womp. Okay, so here we go. Bell top coming in. Now, this is why this can be a dangerous play if one of the partners is weak. Whenever that gets to zero, they come in for a dual mini game. Whenever you win it, you get more than 10 coins. You get more the later the game goes on. But more importantly, you're both brought to the same location on the board, which can open you up for attacks or attacking, depending. All right, so this is foul play, all about catching the chicken. They are on super hard DK. Locked in here. But he can't grab the chicken, it's too slippery! Waluigi finally making eye contact and an instant grab there! A blunder by DK, loses the minigame. DK, he talked a big talk during the interviews, but I think he might be shaken here. I feel like he might be shaken. I mean, look at Waluigi. This guy wasn't even expecting to play today. He comes in out of nowhere, 
and he's smurfing on him. He's absolutely smurfing it. Uh oh, but it's game guy time for Waluigi. He could lose it all here. This could be an opportunity for DK. Moment of truth, game guy is here. And we've got roulette. Time 64 is in play. Are we gonna see it? No. Plays it safe, and it is a fair option. Probably the best move here. He has a lot of money in pocket. Doubling it is still a significant gain. He's gonna go up to 86 off of that. And the odds definitely in favor of Waluigi off of that game guy win. What is that word? Which word are we talking about here? DK with a four. Trying to get back to start here. There could be an happening. No, restore all heart pieces was not there. But get all opponent spaces is not bad. Now, in dual mode, if someone lands on a normal checkerboard space, as you can see right above DK, uh, it will get their face on it. And if you land on your own space, you get money. If you land on your opponent's space, you pay them money. So getting all of your opponent's spaces is actually big. I mean, look at this. Already reaping the benefits here. Smurfing. Oh, it means that uh, he's playing way above his skill level. He's making the competition look bad because he's way better than the person he's playing against. All right, and the tr that is a good one to get. The Piranha Plant by DK is actually a big pickup. That is one of the best bang for your buck partners in the game. But wait a minute. I thought we were gonna have a Dom Gamba. Just kidding, wasn't gonna happen. Okay, so this is good. Waluigi. Oh, never mind, I thought he was gonna go past DK, but he rolled low there. Smart move. Because DK with the Piranha Plant would definitely be doing some damage. A lot of money being bet on Waluigi, and a win for DK right now would be big for the DK Believers. Now, all of the partners have an extra little secret ability. The Piranha Plant, when you have it, will sometimes give you an extra dice block, as we saw there. Um, the booze is interesting. He actually kind of returns damage. If you do damage to him, he will deal it back to the person that attacks him. Uh, the Womps is that he's he's big. <laughs> oh, double boo is crazy. Now, if you have two of the same partner, you get a free attack bonus. So now they both have 3-1 split for the same price. This could be GG. All he has to do is land a hit. Um... What does the Thwomp do? Oh, the Womp, it, it just has the highest amount of base HP. Wow, he rolled another Piranha Plant. DK does have a lot of board control, but oh, that's not good. Both of his partners are getting the juice. That's gonna be minus 16 every turn. Look at that. He only has 18 coins. That is not good. But look at the DPS on the Piranha Plant. This is scary. Boo would ricochet the damage and make DK lose, though, so it's... Waluigi kind of has him in a checkmate situation at the moment. The Womp is the big tall guy. The Thwomp is the big blue block. And what he does is he can't attack your opponents, but he will one-shot any of their partners. Like, they'll just get flattened. Oh, we almost had a DK game guy. 
But instead, it's gonna be a reversal here. I don't know if it would have amounted to much anyways. He only had two coins. Okay, so now these these spaces are paying out eight. Ooh, what, what is this? What is this? We're gonna see damage here. No, again, one off. And this is very bad. DK is gonna lose his partners. He's gotta get out of there. He's gotta he's gotta get out, man. But he's escaped. DK. Ooh. Oh, he's trying to sneak up on Waluigi now. And again, he goes for the Womp. This guy values his defense. But you're never gonna win the game if you're not attacking. And now he gets juiced again. He's paying six coins a turn for what? Zero attack? This is this is tricky. If you're DK, what do you do right now? What do you do? What does he do right now? He's going to the pipe. Where are the game guys? There's a few of them scattered throughout the board. I believe they're above and below. They're like in the upper and lower mid sections. All right, new partner going in front. He actually has decent money in pocket now. Ooh, and baby Bowser is interesting. Now, Baby Bowser is a little deceptive. I literally don't know why they programmed it like this, because it says he's got 1-1 one, one stats. But the one attack is wrong. Either he transforms into Bowser and does three damage, or he does nothing. I don't know why they made it look like that. It's a little, con it, it's very confusing. All right, a bit of good news here for DK. He loses the boo, which means the free boosted attack is gone. But are we going to see an attack? No, not yet. They're like getting close to each other. Yay! Tumbles here. Shoutouts, Tumble, to all the Tumble fans. Why hasn't anyone made a tumble on the canvas yet? We got to get with the program, man. We get a, we gotta get a tumble going. All right. Anyways, oh, double toed it. You hate to see that. Eighteen to thirty-two. Waluigi making it not even look closer. But as I said, that he hits a toad. Commentators curse, and we're all tied up with five seconds to go. Fifty-one to fifty-six. Waluigi. Barely holding on to a victory there. Yeah, having a bell top and a tumble on the canvas would be sick. Guys, I lowered the canvas cooldown by a minute. So if you've been waiting to get active on the canvas, I added in a purple, fixed a few bugs, and lowered the cooldown. There's never been a better time to get involved. Damn! It's Daisy in the finals. Check the schedule page. It should be updated now, but there are spoilers. So keep that in mind if you don't want to be spoiled on the outcome. Dude, DK's kind of getting going now. He's finally getting some economy build up. Yeah, you can see the grand finals matchup if you either go to the playoffs or the normal schedule page. You can see it on both. Waluigi now going with the Womp as well. A lot of Womp action. The reverse, the reverse space is gonna go crazy on this. I mean, look at this, this is crazy, man. DK gets another partner. What is he gonna go for? 
Okay. Rolling for DPS here. Yo! Toad is a good one to have. He's a good safety partner. The Toad perk is if you land on an opponent's space, you don't have to pay them. Toad gives you like immunity or something. It's more useful later in the game, but he kind of sucks otherwise. I mean, he's cheap. He's only one coin and he does do damage. Right. Look at the reverses, man. These are insane. Are we gonna see a little action here? I think we might see contact. Will we get the transform though? Here we go. Oh, that's a miss. And now that means Boo is open for an attack. Toad only has one HP. This is gonna be DK going down to one. Oh wait, Toad's got insane jukes. What, he missed, the boo missed, that's insane. I didn't even know he could do that. I think that boo really choked it, I'm not gonna lie. Now he's back up here behind him. DK now with more money than Waluigi. This is what you've got to worry about if you're a Waluigi fan. The economy for DK is starting to recover here. Is he gonna go double boo here? Are we gonna see it? No, Piranha Plant. But DK needs to do damage. Otherwise, none of this is gonna matter. And it's time for a minigame. This is very dangerous because he's now open to an attack. After this minigame, he's gonna move one more space and then it will be DK's turn. All right, who's the bigger cheater? Time to find out. Get your trains out. Oh, I think he does land on the reverse. Wait, it might be game over. Oh, I missed the ad. Crap, my bad. That was on me. I got too caught up in the action. Hello, Race Fire Fan 69 420. Guys, this might be it. This might be the end of the match. But the but the piranha plant trolled with the bonus dice. The piranha plant passive effect comes in, gives him a bonus dice, and so he can't end. And now ten coins going to DK. The Piranha Plant actually trolling Waluigi, and he chose that. He chose that. He had the slow, lucky roulette. What is that? Wait, but now he's now he's gonna get attacked this direction. He needs to go back to start. I don't think it matters anymore. DK Dong got trolled. He reversed himself into Waluigi for the checkmate. This is crazy, dude. DK's still alive, though. He's still alive. But he gets a reverse! Now he can attack again! What? What a crazy play, dude! It's over! And it wasn't even close. Look at this! By a score of 5-0, to zero, DK gets absolutely bodied here in the fifth place match. 
Not only did he win, he won and it wasn't even close. In fact, I don't even think DK is alive anymore. <laughs> Waluigi, as you can see on the face cam here, was the number eight seed. He was never supposed to even be in this match. And even though he got eliminated last week and will not be in the semifinals or the grand finals, uh, he still shows that, hey, you know what? I might be an eighth, but the regular season doesn't even matter. Waluigi comes in fifth. DK coming in sixth on the season. Uh, now I can show you actually really quick. One second. Let me pull this up. With that done, let's take a look at the standings. Wait, this is not right. What tab am I on? Uh, one second. Wait, where is the window? Wait, why is everyone typing that? Why is everyone typing Yussie? It's the canvas? Oh my God. <laughs> Classic, man. Now, if by some some like stroke of luck this is your first time here this what we're looking at is actually a part of the mario party league website i made it as a fun little side project it's called the canvas and if you would like to partake you're welcome to everyone can place a pixel every two minutes this has been going on for a couple of weeks and we have one week of the canvas left so if you're gonna make artwork you've got seven days to go i did lower the cooldown. It was three minutes, now it's two. And I expanded the color palette as well, so that's cool. Uh, but we even have an orator representation. I like this, someone has uh, the arrow pointing at the bald guy. <laughs> uh, shout outs to that. I don't know who made that, but that's pretty cool. The first placement is five minutes. That's just to prevent bots. After your first placement, it goes down to two. I, I have the the... The bot prevention mechanism, okay? After that five minute place, it'll go down to two. Don't worry about it. That's just for the new users. Um, here, I'll show you. Let me place one really quick. There you go. See, it's two. Uh, anyways, I was gonna actually look at something involving the leak, so let's do that. Yeah, so let's look and see how everything ended up here. So it's not on here which means uh, maybe we'll have to go to the spreadsheet here. But uh, yeah, we can, we can actually probably do this on the spreadsheet. So we did an LCQ match. These were, this was a first week of playoffs. We had last chance qualifiers. Uh, winner moved on, loser got eliminated. And who lost? It was Luigi who lost. And it was Peach who lost. So then they played a seventh place match. They played for seventh. And do you know who won that match? It was Luigi. So Luigi got seventh. And um, Peach got eighth. Then we just played another match here between Waluigi and DK. Waluigi won, DK lost, he got sixth. So right now, this is the current placement. The top four is to be determined, okay? And that will all come down to next week's match, which you guys can catch on the 12th of July, 7.30 US Central. You can either go to the schedule page here to find the info on when that's gonna be in your time zone, or you can just go to the playoff page, either work. But uh, it's gonna be a crazy week, guys. I will have the suit. This is the last time you're gonna be seeing the black and white 69 shirt okay uh now if we look at historical data we have played one game on creepy caverns let's look at results here and it was on easy but yoshi was in it and he won with eight stars 620 coins are we gonna see a repeat am i getting rid of it no but i'm not gonna be wearing it for the playoffs What's the link? Are you looking for the link to the playoffs? Uh, well, if you go to MarioPartyLeague.com, 
it will link you to that. I have a link on the homepage here. Right here, you can click on this. It'll take you to the playoffs. Or you can just go to morningpartyleague.com slash playoffs. I'll link it. How many turns did I do? I did 50 turns, but Yoshi got 999 coins off a crazy game guy. That's play of the season for me. Uh, okay. Anyways, guys. Here's what we're gonna do. eHarmony, thank you for the 32 months. Welcome back. I appreciate it. I think we're gonna be ending the stream here on this note. But I do kind of want to stream more, but I need to cut off the VOD, so here's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna end the stream for like five minutes. I'm gonna come back, and I'm gonna do one hour of Shud Mart, okay? So that's what we're gonna do. And then, but only one hour, okay? After that, I'm, I'm okay. After that, I'm done. I think I'm not gonna buy grocery store simulator. I'm unless. Well, was there a supermarket sim update? I'm gonna check that. I'll check that offline before I go live again. If there was an update with new stuff, I'll play that. Otherwise, I'll get the other game. Uh. But yeah, I, I'm gonna end stream to cut the VOD off. I'll be back live in like five minutes. I'm just gonna go to the bathroom, get a snack, I think, and then I'll be back, okay? So uh, if you're not gonna join us for that, thanks for watching. I'm not gonna raid anyone because I will literally be back in five minutes. But if you wanna stay in the chat, you can do that. Maybe stay in the chat, talk to the bots. I'll pay out the prediction. Uh, maybe go on the canvas. Maybe you guys can coordinate making a, uh, a tumble on the canvas in the, in the offline chat. I don't know. Who knows? But, uh, yeah, I'll see you guys in a minute. Thanks for watching. If you're heading out, see you next time. Until then, peace.